because <laughs> I can't see my name Rolando on a skateboard, bro. To bro, this Rolando's day. a yeah. good name, yeah. I think. My, Rolando shit with my, my career would have lasted one year, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. You think Chico actually like it's put that? Like, yeah. Chico's still here. All right. We are back, huh? We're back at the Nine Club, everybody. Today, we have a very special, special, very special, <laughs> special <laughs> guest, the smooth operator himself, Chico Brenes. Woo! <laughs> Muchas yes, gracias, yes. señoritos. Is this going to be all in Spanish? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> ¿Qué pasa? So, muy bien. ¿Cómo yeah. estás, Chris? Ah, bien, bien, y tú? So, vamos a hacer esta entrevista todo en español. Porque, you know, like sí. I told you before, sí. my fan base is in Latin America. <laughs> claro, claro. You know, so, sí. bocadillos, you okay. know. Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. that's all you can say, right? Yo soy. I remember, I remember being in Spain, dude. That's living off patatas bravas. Dude, yes. patatas bravas. <laughs> living off of that. Corazón, the, patatas and, bravas. And cerveza, <laughs> cerveza, that's it. That's oh, yeah, you yeah, lived yeah, off yeah, that. Yeah. Like, oh, damn limón. Damn it more, yeah, Damn all day, mm, all day. Yeah. That's and, and your tongue twister, Chris. Don't. Oh, you ready? El perro de cerro que no tiene robo porque Ramón Romero se lo cortaron. Man, <laughs> you keep that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you keep that, bro. You know. <laughs> Please keep that. I will. Don't yes, let me hear you Thank say you. that again. <laughs> yes. Not around me. Tres tristes tigres comen trigo un entregal. Está bien, okay. Sí, sí, okay. Yeah, it's getting better. Yeah, we but can, that we first can. one was. All I need to know in my life is uh, uh, patatas. No, bravas. all you gotta do is dame mi dinero. See? Give, give me it, my money. Give me my money. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you gotta know in this world. Man, give me my this money. Is, but afterwards, true. it's the Chico. <laughs> yeah. It's a Chico. Man. Bro, I'm so happy to hear that. Hey, man, I've been trying to come on this show for like, I don't know, what what episode is this? Uh, 317 or something like that? Yeah, I've been trying to come on since episode two. Bullshit. (laughs) You know? And I've been (laughs) flaking since. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Exactly. I flaked, what, at the beginning of this month, I was supposed to come on. Yeah. I was like, dubs, can't do it. The van was packed. I was ready to go. No, but it was raining. It was crazy rain. That too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Oh, so you did another, you flaked twice. Three times or something. Yeah. <laughs> in the last but this last month. one, oh, you too. got sick last time. <laughs> yeah, you got I, sick. I, I wasn't feeling well, and I was like, I can't come over here sneezing all over uh, these yeah. dudes. But I also, like, too, it was cold. a Super Bowl weekend. Super Bowl oh, weekend, yeah. and um, it was just like a shit show. It was a storm right here, wasn't yeah. it? Wasn't yeah, it? no, and the storm was a big part of it as well. Yeah. But you're, also, your team was in it. So, like, you know, in the Super yeah. Bowl, so I, I know that was important. Let's just not I talk about that. Let's just skip right over that. Okay. I haven't got over that. That one hurt the most, man. Man, that one really, really hurt the most. They were right there, it's bro. funny. You know what? I went to the Super Bowl um, when they played the Ravens in New Orleans. I went the Niners oh, wow. against the Ravens. I went to that. Okay, and um, it was incredible, man. And then the, a couple of years later, we went back, uh, played the Chiefs, and then we lost. And then mm-hmm. I can't this time. We, but this one just hurt the most. Got that, you know. Let's talk about Chico Brennis, though. Rolando. <sighs> Rolando. Mm. I mean, this could be all day, though. We I could. mean, where, where do you want to go? You want to go, you know, Nika Cheeks crossing the border. <laughs> you know, you want to go, like, EMB Cheeks. You want to go World Cheeks. You want to go uh, Chocolate Cheeks. You want to go Chico Sticks. How far you want to go, bro? <laughs> we're going to go all oh. the way. Okay, yes. good. Yeah. It's going to be cut cheeks. down in two, right? What about, yeah. No, no, no. no. Gonna, One episode, we're going to start with two the... Parts. With, with, two with, parts. Okay. With, with Lil Chico. I want to have the longest interview, you, man. Yeah. It's no, five and a half hours. <laughs> five and a half hours. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Hours, Mike, Mike V. Mike I wasn't v. here really? for that one, but yeah, it was a long one. Damn, bedtime for sure. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> little little cheeks crossing the border from Nicaragua into the United States. It was a crazy one. I mean, definitely. I mean, I was born in 80... F- no, I crossed the border in 85. I was born in 75. Mm-hmm. Um, didn't skate or anything back there. The town that we lived was a small little like farm town, like ranch. You know what I mean? That's what my family basically... You know what they did they had cattle they had you know so i remember as a young kid um going with my father and in, in, in a horse like three <laughs> years old going into you know el monte you know the the farm and gathering up all the cows and everything like that bringing them to the corral milking them getting the milk and bringing it to the town and then selling it selling to the, the town. Milk. yeah mm, okay and, but we had like so much cattle dude it was like ridiculous Crazy. Like, you know and I mean, the Brennan's family in that town was like one of the richest families, I think, um, back then. 
you know, we had a two-story house. We had like, there was no electricity in mm. the town. There was no electricity. I remember showering and going and just bathing in the in the river that we had, you know. And um, how did you guys get so much? How do you, how were you guys the wealthiest? Was it just because of the milk and the ranch exactly, and the cattle and all that yeah, stuff? Okay. Like my like my grandfather's uh, side of the family, or you know, had from the beginning they always just had like a bunch of cattle and like probably if you have back, back over there like a rancher it's like it's a real deal it's a real well, you know, people need to eat they need yeah. that and then you can transport the meat to the you know sell the meat or sell the cattle or so you know what I mean? okay it was just, but yeah we they had like a the only one that we had the, the two-story house in the in the in the town we were the only ones who can watch TV at a certain time. Like we were only watching novellas, like at nighttime, like uh, soap operas. Okay. And, like my grandma would watch soap operas. Those are memories that I can just remember, man. But we, it was a generator, so we could only watch it for like an hour. Oh, okay. wow. yeah. like Days of Our Lives and stuff. No, 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 no. Because on novella, like El Chapulín Colorado, you know. Oh, that's a good Chabolo. one. Yeah. yeah. My mom used to watch that yeah. one all the time. <laughs> you know, but. Yeah, that was uh, so maybe around around maybe six or seven. I started going into the capital, into Managua. That's where my grandma and everybody. Um, How far lived. away is that from your spot? Maybe at that time, like five, six hours. It was just dirt oh, wow. roads for like a long time until you hit, you know, regular payment and okay. everything like that. Um, so I started going to school over there for a little bit. Um, but then, you know, the, the Revolutionary War was happening at the time. Mm -hmm. It was just kind of chaos, kind of crazy. And when I was young, like before, this is before, I guess, this will be before I uh, went to, uh, to the capital when I was, my mom was living there in, in the small town and everything. Um, when the Revolutionary War was happening, you know, the, the town got taken over by, by the Contras. Mm -hmm. you know? And then my mom was shot in the face. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Mm. And it was, it was actually, now that I'm working on this documentary that I'm doing about my life, I'm finding out so much more stuff, dude. Right. Like You're digging, for sure. I, I didn't know that, you know, the Brennan's family was like with, with, the, with the dictator party at that time, dude. Mm. And the, yeah, with the Somosas. It's... it's well, the, my dad's and that side of the family, you know, my other side of the family were, were with the Sandinistas. You know, they were pure. Like, the Sandinistas were the people who were overthrowing the Somosas that ruled Nika for, like, 30 years. Okay. You know. Under a dictatorship. Under a dictatorship. Gotcha. Exactly. Right, right, right. Um, and this was just something that was just never spoken about. Yeah, I, I didn't find this out until like now. Man. Are you just now that I'm working on this thing? I'm finding yeah. the guy, the person who shot my mom was somebody that she knew. Mm. So maybe because of the affiliation with my, you know, the father and the Somozas, because the story that my mom tells me is like, you know, that she hears she hears commo commotions and everything like that. So she comes out and she sees somebody that she knows. She's like, "Yo, Canale, like, what's going on?" And the dude was just like and just fucking oh, fired the rifle. Mm. Shot my mom in the face, wow. came through, and my mom just dropped. You know, then my dad and uncles came and like got her and then <clears throat> took her away because the town was getting taken over, you know? Mm. Took her into the jungle. Um, pretty much she had to be sewn with a thread and needle, bro, at the wow. time. There were no hospital. The nearest problem. hospital is in, in the capital. You know, the yeah, nearest good hospital away. is in the, in the capital. Bro. And that was how far away from? It was like six, six another, hours. Okay, yeah, okay. you know, and we're talking in the 70s, so the roads, there's no roads. Like, she had to go by horse a certain mile and then, you know, get taken by car like the rest, you know? Wow. And my mom didn't, you know, like telling this story gives me the fucking chills, man, sure, because sure. my mom at the time, she was already, you know, writing like, okay, you're going to stay with your dad here in El Almendro. That's what the town that I was born. Uh-huh. You know, your brother and sister are going to be with my grandma in Managua. And, you know, she was already writing, like... Her last. Her last. Right. Pretty much, because she didn't think she was going to make Damn, it. Damn, that's crazy. I mean, her story is incredible, man. You know, my mom, to be, she's she's my idol. She's my superhero. She's everything, bro. She's everything. And the fact that, you know, that I'm here, the fact that there's a Chico Brennan is because my mom was able to live. Because I, I think, imagine if my mom would have died at mm. any point... I would have never came to the U.S. 
Because your mission to come here was to mm-hmm. see your mom again, right? Because she had the come mission, over. She, had, she came over to get like, you know, reconstructive surgery because there was nothing else that they can do over there. Mm-hmm. And so, but if if my mom would have passed away, I would have lived with my, I would have stayed with my dad in that small town. Mm-hmm. There would have never been no Chico Brenners. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, I would have I never made it to the U.S. My son would have never been born. Maya would have never been born. You know what I mean? And. It's fucking it's crazy to think like my about, mom yeah. had to, you know, endure everything that she had to go through and make it through the other side. Mm. And, you know, and that's what moms do, bro. Straight up. Like I said, she's the she's the strongest person and the most beautiful person. She's like the most will, you know, given person in the world. My, um, and then she came here and then brought us here. I, I came I came in 1985. You were like nine or ten years old. I was right? like nine or ten years old. But what was the when when she was in the in the in the forest on horseback and trying to make it over there? That was their mission, though, was to get over the border. I mean, it seems like this was all happening. She got no, shot. She, she got, got shot. The war was still happening. Okay. The plan was just to get her to the capital to a hospital. Got you. You know that was the only capital. That, was, that to the capital. Manag- to the, Manag- Managua. Managua. Okay. To the capital, you know, and she had to go through like she was out. I think for like couple of weeks in the oh, jungle okay. um there was like a uh makeshift hospital halfway you know to the capital mm-hmm. that she was there but when she got there the doctors was like pretty much left her she was like she's not gonna make it Damn. you know there's people like with gunshot wounds everything you know the people dying so she, they just counter her like as one of those people wow. too you know and then my aunt that she was with, she just started screaming at the doctors and like just begging for help. And one of the doctors was like, okay, we're gonna help her. Damn. And started helping her and then she was able to get a ride on the ambulance from there to the Capitol. Mm. And then she was in the, she was in the hospital <clears throat> probably for like almost like eight months to a year oh, okay. in the Capitol. Okay, so then that's when she came over here and was for that, the reconstruction. Uh-huh, okay, yeah, got you, got you. How did she get you. connected over here? Um, like where did they reach out? Like, how did you reach out to a doctor we, out this way? No, I mean, we had family here. Okay. We had some family that had come previously, like 20 years before some aunts and everything. So that's why um, she's like, let me, let me go to San Francisco. Because that's another thing, man, that I always trip on, too. Like, imagine, I, I, when I landed, or my mom landed, she landed here in San Francisco. The people that I came with when I crossed the border, my aunt and uncle, mm. they went to Miami. But at the same time, I could have landed anywhere in the U.S. too, man, and my life would have ended up differently. Luckily, I was able to like land at that spot and, mm-hmm. you know, San Francisco become, you know, a part of like this, the famous Embarcadero, you know, skateboarding crew and start my life there. Well, that's the thing is because you, when you were coming over, you were, you came over, you went to Tijuana, right? And then from there, hired all a coyote? Through, all through Central America. Oh, okay. All on the bus. Mm-hmm. Me, and, me and my uncle and my mom was already in the U.S. And what's crazy, my mom was coming to Nicaragua at the times. And then she always, and I remember too, I was a young kid. And maybe she was away for like a year or two years, but she would come. And then I wouldn't recognize her, man. You know, I was like so long. Yeah. I mean, and I'm like, I'm so young too. And I was like, who, you know, who is this person? You know what I mean? Right. That's crazy. And that's like, that broke her heart. She'd be like, man, that used to break my heart, you know, just watching you and you would just not really pay attention. Well, when you're a little you kid, know? six years old, seven, well, however old you were, I mean, that, that is, that's fast. Yeah. Two years yeah. is quick when the little kid's growing up, no you know? Doubt. Yeah. So you took the bus from Nicaragua all the way to the Tijuana? So we had, How did mom, that? we had a route planned. How do you plan this route? Like my mom was like, already pretty much had some kind of connection she knew some people maybe that uh because she's you know you guys take the bus to tj mm-hmm. and at tj we already had the per- the connection that was going to get us across mm. okay my aunt and uncle met somebody on the bus that totally guided us like through a different route bro because a lot of these people on the bus are coming for the same reason yeah right mm-hmm. okay you know so she met this lady old lady that oh we're taking the same route we're gonna go you know so they ended up going with them uh-huh and i mean it took it's not something that it's not something that happened maybe like you know like in a week or two weeks as this is we were in mexico stuck for like months uh, my aunt um <clears throat> told me that uh the federales came and shook us down. We were at the, ho- at the hotel or whatever in, um, in Mexico, and they came and took our passport and tried to shake us for some money. 
like you know give us some money give us whatever you got mm. or we're not giving you your passport back and luckily my uncle like just stood his ground like we don't got anything man what are you talking about you know stood his ground sure sure and you know they let us go wow yeah. and then you know we, i think we were there for like i don't know how long and then it was time to you know go meet the coyote so there's like 15 people you meet like at midnight or whatever and you take the fucking journey across the border, man. Like, shit that I remember, it's like f helicopters. I was the youngest out of the whole group that crossed the border that time, man. I was the youngest. And um, federales, like, on the horses, like, taking a piss, having a smoke break, and us hiding in bushes. Oh, my God, man. Us, other, like, little fucking memories that I remember, it's like um, hopping through fences, bro. So I guess that was, like, when we were making our way over to the next, you know, to the next town or whatever uh, from TJ. Um, but then the only, I, I don't remember how exactly. Mm. My mom said that we, uh, they got us across. And then once they got us across, we like got in this, in this car. And I don't know if we went to LA or we went to San Diego, but from there, we just basically got a, hopped on a flight and made it to the u.s because the, co the coyote stuff can be very dangerous yeah. right yeah. they can they I mean, can back then turn their backs to give you an, an idea back then we it was like 800 a person to get you across i mean now it's, it's a like lot. i mean it's a lot of now money, it's dude. like eight thousand to ten thousand dollars and and you might not make it because it's controlled by like a lot of the gangs now right? mm -hmm. you know they took over that Damn, business eight to ten thousand. yeah and you might not make it right yeah. and it's secure heavily like my brother and sister went a totally different route they came with my grandma, mm -hmm. and then they just acted like on the beach, like they were just part of like the families, and they were just playing, and then slowly just came, you know, went over, and oh, then they, wow. made it to the other side. There wasn't like a crazy fence. Oh wow! Yeah, back on then, the beach, yeah, they yeah. were just patrolling. They were patrolled, oh. but not as heavily as you patrol it nowadays. <clears throat> right, right, you know? right, right. Wow. And they were just there. They were like, you know, just playing like in shorts or whatever, and then slowly they just made it over. Damn, so their their journey was a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> their journey was a little bit. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, they were on the beach playing yeah. volleyball. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> made it yeah. in. Made it and in. Then, yeah, so made you, it. you jumped in a car, you said, went to LA and then to San Francisco? Went, jumped in a car. But and your I, aunt and uncle went to Florida. Yeah, we, I mean, they stayed in oh, San Francisco stayed, oh, okay. for a little bit. And then after that, they, you know, their, gotcha. their okay. final destination was Miami. Right. But my mom was already building, like, you know, a life. A, a life here in, yeah. uh, in SF. Okay. So that's where I ended up. Dude, imagine. Luckily, yeah. luckily. Yeah, bro. You know? well, and that was in Daly City? Or is that Daly City? Or outside um, of Daly City? Well, my mom, when first though, when she first, she lived, you know, with um, aunts and everything. And when we came, it was just me. So she was renting, like, a room from one of her friends. I forget where it was. And then when she finally got her own place, it was a one-bedroom apartment, um, kind of by the like, top of the hill, Daly City, uh, for acting. Um, one bedroom and then you know my brother my sister me my grandma and my mom lived there mm. at the time my mom was like a nanny she made eight hundred dollars and the rent was five hundred dollars bro mm -hmm. so she had three hundred more dollars to fucking get Live, by and yeah. i fucking wow you're like how do we do this how do we do that yeah, you no know doubt. did you speak any english at that point not really no and then the way i learned is just watching cartoons yeah. and repeating everything <laughs> you know when my mom like um she had a boyfriend and everything, and he would be leaving. He'd be like, he would be like, um, bye, honey, you know, to my mom. And I'd be like, bye, honey, just repeat it. <laughs> 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 oh, isn't that cute? Isn't that Some cute? Yeah. I love Lucy type shit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, but I was just repeating Lucy, everything. Lucy, I'm bro. home. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, like, just repeating everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, watching cartoons, and that's how I learned, man, and just being out, too. But for me, that's, that's where everything began. Sure right there like skateboarding and everything because the the school like half a block was where i was introduced i think to skateboarding mm. i mean we were bmxing i was bmxing at the time even after watching yeah. that rad movie yeah, oh, yeah. you know yeah, i was yeah, like yeah, yo yeah. this is sick but Highly once influenced at that time bro. yeah yeah i'm getting the bike now <laughs> <laughs> so i was bmxing in the beginning all the homies had the dope diamond bags, GTs. I had fucking nothing, bro. I barely had something like that yeah, roll. Yeah, 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 the Huffy. I had the Huffy. Not, the Huffy was good, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had less than that. The Huffy had inner tubes. <laughs> yeah. I had no name. <laughs> yeah. shit. 
Um, but that's where everything yeah, man. pretty much began. Like there was lawn tramps, there was quarter pipes at that school, and then I remember going and um, we're talking about 88, 89, 89 now. No, well, now we're talking about um, eighty six, eighty seven. Because okay. I have pictures of me um, going off lawn tramps in eighty eight already, like okay. doing method grabs. Yes. Oh, so you are yeah, man in eighty eight. Yep. So I'm thinking. Right after I, I landed, I landed in 85. I always tell this story like, yeah, I crossed the border and I took the plane straight to EMB, bro. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little more to the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it kind of played out that way. The right? plane just <laughs> dropped them off at EMB. <laughs> there you but go. But no, uh, that school, uh, GP, uh, that's where everything pretty much began for me. Um, and Ooh. I would go there and borrow people's skateboard because I couldn't afford a skateboard. Everybody had their pal, paralysis back in the days, you know? Right. That was a Bow thing. Night. There was no way I'm on a $800 fucking, you know? <laughs> well, how did you get your first board then? Um, It was a ninja from my grandma. Ninja from Toys R Us, 10 bucks that I had to share with my brother. Okay, okay. It had the plastic fucking rails, plastic back, everything plastic. Right. And the plastic wheels. Sure. And it was thick as hell, mm -hmm. you know? Um. So I started with that and we had to share it. You know, right away I knew that that wasn't going to be it. Like, you know, I see everybody <laughs> with their pals and I'm like, I can't show up to the yard like this. You know? yeah. Oh, but ninja it, board. Yeah. Um, one thing that I remember, I remember like this truck. Um, I don't know who they were. They must have been like some concrete jungle, like sponsored dudes. They came and they came and that's the first time I was like, the shit that they were doing on the quarter pipes and on the ramps and everything, I was just like blown away, dude. I was like, oh my God, you can do all that? I was just like, it was a demo. Before it was like the, lo mm -hmm. the locals were just skating the little quarter yeah, pipes, right? The locals, just doing whatever. barely like nothing. And these dudes just came and just tore it up. Is that, what, is that what set everything in motion for you? I think that's you? what set it up. But yeah. when they were leaving, they go to the truck and they, they throw something. I don't know what it was, and I just ran over there and just grabbed. There was a brand new thunder truck, and I'm fighting like ten kids off of me, dude. Like, <laughs> and I have this brand new shiny black thunder truck, dude. Just one. I was the coolest kid. <laughs> just one. Yeah. I swear to God, yeah. just one. I was the coolest kid <laughs> in the block. Let me get that, Chico. Let me get that. I, I brush everybody's friend now. Yeah, <laughs> that's how you be. That's how you became. Was this the ninja board? Was this it? Something like that. Something like okay. that. God, so, man, that that looks kind of nice too. Right? <laughs> I don't think it was a little nice. bit better than what you had. <laughs> that, was, that was a nicer one. <laughs> yeah. So what did yeah, you do with the so thunder truck? The you... thunder truck, and then I bought my first real board that I say that I got was a BK Madrid, and I bought it used off the homie Bryce Knights. Bryce mm -hmm. Knight BK okay. Madrid, the graffiti BK. Mm -hmm. And so I put the thunder truck on that, and then pieces of that uh, ninja you board Frankenstein it together. Frankenstein, <laughs> okay. and that was it, dude. That's Damn. pretty much how. Uh, everything that's how i started you know finding out like about like skate videos and everything who was the first dude because you i mean you literally grew up skating with like mike carroll like the best of the best back then like who but who was your first like intro into that group like was it like um, Smythe? was it carroll Sand, was it henry like yeah bro who? my road my dude that I used to skate with was Angelo, the homie Angelo. Me, that was my boy. He was good as hell. But Carol and these dudes didn't like him because he was a beam dog. Mm. He oh, would he <laughs> every trick and look yeah, at look you. At or you. if Mike was trying something, he would try it right behind him oh. and then look at him. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And I was like, and okay. they're like, dude, you can't bring this dude around anymore, bro. <laughs> Right, you know, how like old were you? Like 15, 14? <laughs> like, oh like yeah, God. like 13 or something like that, you know? But that was my dude, man. Yeah. That was my guy, you know? I couldn't just leave him <laughs> hanging. And it's crazy because uh, then we moved to, you know, deeper into Delhi City. My mom got a house. We were living in a house, and it happened to be like seven houses away from Mike Carroll's house, bro. Okay, wow. okay. Seven houses, and we're like, what? Mike Carroll lives like seven houses away. Oh, you know? so he was already kind of like a he little already, legend over there? He was already. already we already that knew. Dude. We yeah. already knew who he was. You okay. Know? Concrete jungle, wow. and like already before H Street, too. Yeah. You know? um, and then uh, and then H Street. They got on H Street, you know, and we used to go to the same school. Like me... Henry and Mike used to go to Ben Franklin Middle School. Okay. Henry was so bad, bro. He was a troublemaker. <laughs> F's like bad, like pissing on the janitors, like oh, on top what? of the roof, like badass kid, oh, dude. Damn, dude. And the last year, straight A's. 
He like flipped the script and just got straight A's, dude. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Weird. Henry's like that. I don't know. You know. <laughs> um, but I, he used to live in Westlake, and we used me and Angela. We would go over Henry's house. We would call like all the shops in the Henry. You guys are sponsoring or anything? You know, we would call like Skates on Hayes, or, like FTC, and Kent was like, "Yeah, come on by." So me and Angelo went over there, and Kent gave us some bearings. Really? Wow. Mm. We were the first ones to like actually like, you know, put FTC out there. I know Kent says like Greg Carroll and all these mm. dudes, but me and Angelo actually were the ones because I think after that we told Mike and Greg. And them, and then they went over there, and obviously they're Mike and Craig, yeah. like you know, yeah. you can he's, gonna, he's gonna remember that. Yeah, yeah. Gonna, yeah. they, they, you know, they, they were the dudes, man. Sure, back sure. There. Where'd you get some like an MB, like little skate shop bands, probably German? Yeah, I don't even know. I can't remember, but it was. Were you already skating yeah. EMB back then at that point? Um, yeah, I was. I was going. I have footage of me going on Barcadero, dude. Mm. And Mecky's gonna. Maggie, you got to send them like, because uh, he digitized a lot of my like, older footage. So, like, whatever I talk about, he can like, send it. To okay. You guys, okay. You know, so he can put like little things. I mean, look at this little Chico footage right here. That's from my sponsor me video. Right. That's from, my, that's from the rejection. Letter, right? <laughs> the, the rejection letter right behind you from Small Room. <laughs> I love that you kept but that. But that's, uh, yeah. I love that you posted that and then dude reached out. I had no idea it was him, man. Russ I had Pope. no idea. But, you know, that little. I mean, yeah, this is the sponsor me video that I, I worked on at the time. Who was filming? Your boy Angelo? You know what? The crazy thing, man, back then. Dude, killing it. No, Damn. but back then, I remember this session right here, Lavar's in this session, mm. and we're just going back to back. He's doing an impossible, I'm doing an impossible. He does the back 360, I'm doing, and then I kind of move on to different else, like that blunt slide, try to try to blunt slide, but like, that's how we like, we fed off each other, sure. dude. Yeah, we were bad. always in group traveling, like all around the city. When we got to spots, we just got busy. But I wasn't, people always knew me as like, I was sh not shy, but because maybe because of my language, you know, mm. I would never used to say one word, dude. I, I used to be quiet, like the okay. kid that used to be quiet. But we, once we show up to the spot, it's on, it's on. you know? <laughs> it's <laughs> right. on. And yeah. people would be like, why come you don't say anything, Chico? I'd be like, I don't know what to say. And people would just be <laughs> clowning each other. I'd just kind of be, you know, laughing a little bit, but back, not yeah. say anything. Yeah. But I mean, they wouldn't mess with me, you know? Sure, sure. <laughs> they well, there's EMB. I was, gonna, yeah. I was just about to say you weren't skating any EMB in this, but yeah, there it is. Yeah. Were you, it, nervous? Were you nervous going in the EMB for the first time? The first time I went was uh, before the 90s, I guess. And um, that's what story I wanted to tell you. Like, mm. um, I'm going, there's, I'm, I'm trying to like, not even Ollie, just go off the block, you know? And I'm wearing a pink Jimmy's hat because I saw uh, Christian Ashoy wearing it in one of the covers and I'm wearing it and I'm like, dude, what am I doing wearing that? Like thinking, like if I would have wore that, you know, when EMB was territorial, it would have been game over. Oh yeah. Dude, you, you know? You would have been. We're been, talking about like 88, 89. Before, before, before all that. Before, yeah. you know? Yeah. And then the crazy thing is too, like one of the first times I went to EMB, mm -hmm. um, shy kid you know mm -hmm. my for my board shoots out hits puppet um scott thompson hits him and i'm just quiet go over there and grab it and go away he's like excuse you punk with his hat fucking all like that fucking you know crazy ass like looking dude and i'm like fuck i'm sorry you know and it's just, and i tell him the story he's like i didn't do that bro i remember that yeah. <laughs> i remember that that stuck I out i remember yeah, that dude. Dude. those moments definitely stick you out know? Bro. real talk and well, it's the fact you didn't say he's sorry or anything right i mean i was just yeah like just i quiet, you, i was yeah. just quiet and like damn I'm, you know maybe my board didn't hit him right. <laughs> <laughs> you know uh but yeah, once EMB started rolling around, it was fucking game changer, you know what I mean? It, it was one of the best times, best moments, I mean, you know? We, and not knowing that we were, like, creating history at all, dude. You right. Know? Not knowing. We were just going over there to hang out with our homies, to fucking clown each other and to talk shit. But mm -hmm. so, many awesome, same, so many awesome characters, not to cut you off. No, nah, go Because, like, they were just, you know, from Carl... Watson to Spencer oh Fujimoto God. to to Wingding to like there's so many like colorful like yeah. dudes that were coming around at that time. Yeah, obviously James and Couch, we right? we all had nicknames. You know, we everybody from Wingdings to like Weasel. Weasel was the one that oh Jake Vogel was the one who was good at giving nicknames, bro. He tried to he tried to give me um a nickname, but it didn't work out. What, <laughs> <laughs> what was the nickname? 
um, he tried to give me mental mix. Cause like I would do crazy shit like in the world video jumping all crazy or like yeah, just doing yeah. like crazy shit. I would okay. be doing, you know, silly shit. And he tried to give me mental mix. Just try to do it for like a week or two. And then I like I looked at him, I was like, I'm fucking Nicaraguan, you stupid. And he looked at me like mad confused, like, what? Nicaragua? What the fuck is that from? You know what I mean? <laughs> you don't know what that is. <laughs> well, it didn't stick. It didn't then, work. You know, it didn't work. Wait, so, but how'd you get the nickname Chico? Chico was from um Mid, not middle school uh junior high junior high mm. um palacita in in delhi city uh, and just playing um uh, basketball and with and, and with the kids and everything i remember dude you couldn't even write your fucking skateboard school over there they I wouldn't let they, they the wouldn't school let, let yeah they right. wouldn't let me and yeah. now they have like programs Same. and everything in the school yards but anyways we were playing in the yard and um and there was this brother Named Chico. Okay. You know, I think C H E K K O H O. I don't know. Chico. His name was Chico. And I would be like, pass the ball, Chico, pass the ball. And I was like, my name is Chico, not Chico. And that shit just flipped back to me, bro. And then <laughs> he started name, calling you Chico. Chico. Yeah. <laughs> no way. And now That's my crazy. name is Chico. <laughs> But thank you, Chico, for giving me Chico, man. Yeah. Because I can't see my name Rolando on a skateboard, bro. To bro this Rolando's day. a yeah. good name, yeah. I yeah. think. My, shit would, my, my career would have lasted one year, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. You think Chico actually like it's put that? that like, yeah. Chico's still here. Yeah. True. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Chico's right. forever. We got Chico yeah. sticks now, you know? You know? So, uh. But... But was everybody at EMB calling you Chico at this point in time? Yeah, that was my nickname. That was it. You know, once... Chico gave me Chico. It was it was on. I wish no, I could meet that dude, man. I wish I swear. And I, yeah. Wait. I wish, so when he gave it to you, then you were just like, all right, I'm Chico, and you yeah, started was, telling he just everybody started like, coming, I'm Chico. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then people who maybe like uh, would skate or go around that I was with, they just started calling me Chico. And it became Chico, but I, I seriously can't see my name on the board. That's so funny. Oh, yeah. Roly Bernays. Yeah. Bernays. Does you your know, family still call you Ronaldo? Um, they still call me. Uh, yeah, Rolando. Rolando, sorry. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, Rolando. But uh, it's crazy because um, when I went and got my citizenship in 2010, they asked me if I wanted to change my name. What? And I thought, you know, and, and they, you know, oh, no, they asked me, it was like, do you go by anything else? Okay. And I was like, ready to tell them and ready to do it right there because I could have changed my name right then. Wow. Then. wow. But then yeah, I was like, damn, then I got to change all my credit cards. And I gotta, you know, it was <laughs> in a month to do. I, I had like 30 seconds to do this today. You know what I mean? It's, it's easier right to just moment. tell the skateboard company. Yeah, just <laughs> put Chico gave, on there. If they would have gave me like five minutes to think about it, hold on, let me go in this room and let me think about it. <laughs> You know, but they didn't give me that out. They were like, you know what? Yeah, Rolando's, that, that yeah, would work. That's it, that's you know, it. so. That's what it is, stamp. Damn. Yeah, but I, I wish I would have changed it to Chico, actually, man. So when you're skating EMB and everything, like, I mean, James Kelch is always known as kind of like the mayor of like EMB, right? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think who else. God, we've heard so many EMB stories, bro. But from the from the corner kids to yeah. the T Dog uh crack what was it the t-dog trap or t -dog something trap. T -dog real. Trap. all that Wheat shit berry? is real man. yeah all yeah. that shit is real um but what a fucking time and oh we gosh, up, and man. we were you know we we didn't know what we were what was happening right you know i mean dude there was times we'll come to embarcadero and summer beautiful day and there'll be like 30 kids around like sitting on the little three steps mm. you know like where are these people coming from, man? And it was just like a demo, like every time we showed up, mm -hmm. you know, and sometimes, you know, people would get bummed out, like, what the fuck, you know, because just skate, you know, just like you, people, because they're watching they're be sitting. It. So yeah, they're, they're just watching just you guys skate. Yeah, That's what it is, to right? See, yeah. You know, Mike, Henry, right. me, whoever, yep, you yep, know, yep, yep. and, but we would get pissed because, like, man, just skate. Mm -hmm. But then if they skate and got in the way, they would probably get their boards focused or something. <laughs> oh, damn. That's when they think, get out of here, too. I dog. seen that shit happen so much. Really? Like, Henry was notorious, oh, wow. man. But, dude, like, yeah, focuses or throwing boards. Like, everybody, though. Couch did that. Everybody did that. I, you know. But it's so funny. I mean, like, Jamie Thomas came. Jamie Thomas was sleeping there. Jamie yeah. Thomas came Stealing there. pizzas from pigeons and yeah. shit. Like, crazy, dude. It's crazy. Um, to hear it from other people like how their know, perspective like how uh intimidated intimidating um yeah. EMB was even like jay lee man i was talking to him maybe like a year ago 
because I was posting like these um, morning radness and this video like of me doing like some of the tricks that he did like mm. uh, here at the LA like steep banks and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he reached out and he kind of put me on the spot. Like he was like, um, you know, Chico, why, like why, you know, why did you like, we, why did you vibe us? Like, why did you feel like, and I had it, yeah, and I was like, he, he put me on the spot, man. Like, you, you know, remember? he felt vibe. I know what he's talking about, <laughs> and I had really had to think about this. I was like, well, Jason, you know what? Um, that was kind of like our, you know, like a gladiator, like arena, you know? So unless, like, you came to our arena and got down with us, we didn't care who anybody was. We didn't care if you were, like, the biggest name in skateboarding. This is our arena. You right. know, and then most of the times they were these dudes were like just sitting, you know, they wouldn't come in, you know, so maybe they thought we were vibing. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing I can think, you know what I'm saying? But it's right. not, we idolized Jason Lee, man. He was, I remember at Carol's house watching videos, you know, video days to get psyched to go to EMB, mm -hmm. you know. So we, it's not that we didn't, but once we got to EMB to the arena, mm -hmm. that's our arena, and if you want to get down, get down. If not, then, you know. Arena yeah. and Gladiator is kind of a good way to put it, though. <laughs> you know you know what I mean? Like, it, it wasn't only your turf, but it was like, that was where you guys, like, yeah. fought your wars, right? Like, skating, yeah. learn, learning tricks, filming. So much stuff, like, went down. Like, Henry, switch flipping the seven, like, early, early, like, 90s. Carol doing crazy shit. Henry fakey fakey five oh fakey flip mm -hmm. just right in front of your face about filming I mean, shit's being, metal, yeah, shit's that being done for the first time Dude, it's being invented. and all the tricks you know um done down, down the seven Lavar Lavar mm. just this young kid I mean just, you back three it though back in the day too yes, that is true yeah <laughs> <laughs> back three it were people taking turns filming back then or was it just like like was it did everyone just trying tricks right behind each other or was it like hey film me sometimes for it depends like you know if uh jake rosenberg um jake jake rosenberg right yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. plan b yeah. yeah sometimes he will be filming mike and we will just try to you know yeah just oh, maybe like we sessions. maybe we can get like a background like <laughs> 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 i mean you know i i actually they had a, he filmed a, a switch heel flip that i did that ended up in carol's like part oh really you know, back then yeah it was, a, the was it down the three yeah. yeah 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 i remember that yeah um but like there wasn't that many filmers like you know yeah uh, it was very seemed like it was in Maisel, the beginning Maisel, Maisel. Maisel, we were filming for FTC Rosenberg. I think it was Maisel and Rosenberg right yeah. I mean Sock was down here yeah. like all, all the filmers were down I mean there. once we got on World it would send people like Slashbox yeah, yeah. yeah. Slashbox, Slashbox was yeah. around for a so lot of yeah. Winko sure. where was that Winko Winko, Winko was in Beginning a Girl who was the dude who was rollerblading while filming Ooh. <laughs> I remember, <laughs> I remember <laughs> something I remember hearing <laughs> I about something I don't know if it was a world filmer Roger, where are you? I don't know his name, but I know who you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we busted out the rollerblades. I don't yeah. think that was ever. Hey, I think we had to like, dude, you yeah, can't. You, nah. <laughs> EMB. <Yeah>. Nah. <laughs> Chico's being filmed by a rollerblader at EMB. Yeah. At EMB? I don't know if it was at EMB. <laughs> I, I don't even think that, no. even think that would have rolled at EMB. I don't think it was at EMB. Yeah. Yeah. They would have kicked him out right away, bro. Pelch would have just oh, exploded. No. His head would have just fucking popped. I don't think it was at EMB. Definitely uh, not EMB. That was probably man. in LA, yeah. for sure. Dude. But what an, what an incredible time what an incredible like space man and well that i mean emb and what you guys were doing there like transformed the entire skateboarding industry in the world you know what i mean yeah you think about that like just you guys skating this plaza like well, changed the landscape of of skateboarding as we knew it yeah was Crazy. there a point where like you noticed that more people were coming like yeah. that was oh, like definitely. the hot spot oh definitely what was From that point you think um, I think kind of, I don't, after Love Child? Probably. Around that time. And then like when the first yeah. like Yeah, because I mean, people were even out. from like all, all over the world, man. Yeah. Like the UK, like Femi For and sure. all these dudes were coming, you know, coming out and. When that Plan B and video came out, dude, I think that's, that's when that's really shit started to pop up. Carol's, yeah. Carol's oh, yeah, part yeah, yeah, with the C. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. right. I think that right yeah, there. Yeah. Probably. Okay. That okay. But that was the, maybe a year after Love Child. Like, it wasn't, like, yeah, everything obviously. was going so fast back then. Yeah. Small time frame. And it's crazy how I, I mean, I was getting, I remember Shelby was tr uh, trying to get me on um, on 8-Ball. I think 8-Ball. Clothing? No, it was at 8-Ball or was it? Roger, what's that skateboarding company with the eight? Uh, eight ball. 
Eight ball, eight right? Ball, yeah. yeah. So Shelby was riding. Shelby was riding for eight ball, and he mm. was he started flowing me boards at the time. Shelby okay. Woods. Shelby Woods, yeah. and then Jim also started flowing me real boards. Because that's when I first started, <clears throat> met you. I think when you were at the Pal at Pal Skate Zone, you came down with everybody. Mesa. I think it was like you, Mesa, Mandoli, uh, Ed Devera, wow. Spencer, and then DL was there, and Daniel was there. I don't know if he was. He wasn't in the van with you guys. I wonder if that was a. Uh, during the reel, was that already like, you know, getting like stuff by world? I'm I not sure, think. but I think you were getting stuff from real because real. that's what I, I believe. Yeah. And you were in transition probably. Well, yeah. weren't you getting stuff from real or yeah. that was before yeah. that? And that's so where maybe I, we then, met, yeah, it had to because we all met up at that. And, and it's I, crazy because Max Schaff was like, dude, you were supposed to come on a tour with us. And then I got on world. Yeah. Crazy. And then how I got on world was Javante, bro, at EMB. Jovante Turner was, well, like, it was the back three, right? The back three. No, really... I mean I'm, that was my sponsor video, okay, okay. you know. But I didn't even send it to Small Room. Got you got denied, a little, got yeah, ejected. You got a little, thanks for you the know? video. It goes off. There's no room on the team though. <laughs> you know that was that's for all I got prep, yeah. and a couple of stickers. Um, but I we just kept it moving. Dude. We didn't, you know. We didn't didn't Rocco come up there and watch you skate? Nah, no. It was, okay. I was Tay, dude. Tay went to the payphone across the street from me and B. <laughs> Call up Ronnie. Hey, bud, we're gonna put Chico on, and I then next thing you know, I'm getting world boxes to the house, and it's like Christmas, dude. I'm like, oh, dumb what? big boxes. Oh my god! And then they flew us down. I started meeting all those dudes, like guy, and then that's when I got like, damn, what these dudes are doing is insane. Like that's the first time I saw somebody no slide, nose grind. Like guy was trying, and at, we were at a parking, like lot nighttime. Then I. I would go back to you and be like, dude, these dudes are fucking like way advanced. You, bro. Dude, <laughs> you, you thought the LA dudes were more advanced than, than like Henry and all those I people? mean, they were doing, Hen no, they were doing the shit, but they were doing some other different shit. They were doing shit. some other shit. Yeah, okay. that was okay. sick as fuck too. That's crazy, you know? bro. Damn. Yeah, and I would go back, dude, like these guys doing this and this dude's doing that. I just started going to LA so much, you know, and um, I remember Tim coming every Friday. That's uh, that's already when I got on World. I was going, they were flying right. me out there. Well, they were flying Tim in from Arizona. They were flying Tim every, every from weekend. Arizona, and mm -hmm. we just started, me, Tim, and we just clicked, dude. Clicked. Like, that's that's my guy, Straight dude. Up. I, I love Tim. Straight and up. then Tim, I think, finally made the move, and he got a, he got a one, he, he shared a room with uh, Chris Patras. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was living there. It was a one-bedroom. It was a, I, one bedroom. It was a one bedroom. Tim he was had a, living in the kitchen. Tim was living in the kitchen. I had the other side of the wall with the Cypress Hill posters, my <laughs> chill kicks and my bags and everything like that. <laughs> Dune had the um the room. Mm -hmm. He always locked it, but he was never there. Uh -huh. And then we we would break in to like watch <laughs> videos because we didn't, video we, would, we would get bored, bro. We would be bored to death. Like you know, would you try I'm to lock sorry, it before dude. You I'm so sorry. <laughs> we invaded the, this shit with the knife. We just Tim, and then uh and. Dude, Tim looked out for me. I don't know, man. He's he like, looked yeah, out for everybody. This nigga around with it is kind of funny, man. Yeah. I kind of like him, you know. And he just he looked out me, for everybody. He took bro. me in, dude. He took me in, and then um, after that, what he moved with Costin, yeah, yeah Frosty, Costin, yeah. and I was living there, <laughs> pretty much. Was and, this when Costin was living with Barra too? No, or was that later? That, 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 that was after. Okay, okay. That was after, yeah. and then he moved over there, and I was over there. And then Schneider was staying over there. Used to steal uh, Barra's packages. That was Matt Schneider. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Like three boxes came and Barra's looking for his boxes and yeah, Schneider took him a day. He, <laughs> he would have to give me a cut. <laughs> he would have to give me a cut for sure. <laughs> no, but the funniest shit is like when... <laughs> the funniest thing is 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 uh, with Schneerball and Tim and those dudes, man. Schneerball was a funny ass dude. Yeah, seriously. When they had the World uh, Park, when we used to sleep there, you know, him breaking into the thing. The fact that Rodney, Rodney Mullen wanted to get him out, <clears throat> I think that was Tim talking into talk to Rodney into like get him a one way ticket to SF. Right. 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 And he broke into the warehouse at the park, stole all these blank boards and everything that they had there. Rodney got him a one way ticket to SF. So when he got to, when Schneider got to SF, he sold everything and just bought a ticket back. back. <laughs> 
<laughs> they were trying to get rid of Schnurrball because they But Schnurrball, <laughs> he came for Planet Earth or something, right? He was a, well, it he was a whole it different company. Get, get rid of him. Get rid of him. Yeah. <laughs> he was, they were so sick of him, dude. Yeah. And that was our boy. We were always just hanging with them. We were just hanging. Schnurrball was a liability. Dudes, I thought these dudes were the craziest dudes, man. Like, I was always shocked why Schnurr never got on like a world company. I know. I was Because he was but crazy. this is probably why. Because <laughs> he's doing shit balls. Yeah. Like, I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> these cats, Shamu. these dudes were so funny though, man. Like, I thought they were coming from AZ. Like, I thought we would go to like Del Taco, they would order food, and they get their food. And I was like, I didn't order tomatoes, and they just throw it on the window. I was like, yo, oh. what are these guys oh doing? God, yeah. Like, these dudes are crazy, man. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, and they'll just watch the shit, just like paint, like just come down, <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. It's a Schnurr right here, by the way. Which is the planet, oh, this the planet best, though, yeah. man. Yeah, he was Schnurr good. Oh, was man. so sick, man. Bro, he had two parts in one fucking video. So sick, yeah, First dude. and last. First and last part. What video is this? Cat's Cradle. Yeah. Switchback 3. Butters. Yeah, dude. Up his Way ahead of his time as well. To be continued. <laughs> <laughs> then we go to this last. Amazing. But uh, yeah, I always wondered why he never got on like a world... I. He was always around. We True. always trip too. I <laughs> never got on. So funny, man. <laughs> yeah, he was just yeah liability. He's a little yeah, too much. Squirrel liability. heel flips. We, lo we love him. Yeah. He's is still the same. Oh yeah, still the same. He's the best. He can't do this trick style no more. He can't. <laughs> he can't take no more. <laughs> Not all, huh? I don't know. I'm uh, speculating. Snurball, just one switchback heel, that's please. It, that's that's all back I want. Me, you know? yeah. <laughs> yeah, let me see it. Let me see it. Dude, I don't know, dude. I don't know. <laughs> no, <laughs> <she's> like, <laughs> yeah, Here's yeah. some Jaeger. I might do it. <laughs> Bro, by the way, man, like when Love Child came out, dude, like my favorite part of Love Child was not only like everybody's part, but it was the credits. It was the ending. It was oh, the ending shit. seeing all you guys as like a team at Disneyland and yeah, doing all this yeah. stuff and you was some Daniel of the best jumping times. on the bed. Rocco was, he took care of us, man. He we did. stayed at dope ass hotels. Yeah, bro. He had the boat. He, we would go out to Catalina, use his jet skis and we're just jet skiing as young kids. Just like, he'll take us <laughs> shopping to the Gap. <laughs> Buy whatever you want. You know, but that, back then that was oh, cool, bro. man. Hell yeah. He would just drop, put the card and just like, what took care of us, man. Like, giving you guys hundreds, like, for Betting tricks stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah at demos like day one wow. was always coming up because he was always <laughs> landing i'm sure i'm sure but yeah this stuff but right he here. took he took care of us man. This is a, amazing like, I loved, yeah i love this behind the scenes it made me feel connected with you guys to be honest like watching like not only you guys skating but this stuff yeah man. jed man yeah dude amazing. Look, at, look at brennan Damn. look at rolando right rolando there, man. look at that no slide Damn. 180 nose grind those are the days with the music Great playing. Time. Look at you. Are See, you cold or something? Mental <laughs> mix. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> when you guys were filming for Love Child, you guys probably didn't even know you guys were filming for a video. It was Not probably you guys all. just going out and skating. Not Sock was there. Whoever was out There was times like, hey, we're going to send a filmer out to EMB or something, you know. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. But most of the time, we were just... Just filming. Just skating. skating. Yeah. I love how organic that shit was back then where, yeah. you know, that's what it was. You just film, send somebody up there. You just and we were skating. You filming. Yeah. 24, we, like at nighttime, we would go to the parking block and mm -hmm. garage or whatever. And, and it didn't skate. matter about the lighting. The lighting was Nothing. fine. Mm -hmm. It's like, we like there was got a, you. What was it? Uh, where Jason Lee is like the underground where he like, he... <sighs> I don't even With the know. little manuals, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And th that's like a, a famous mall though over here. Yeah, right? yeah. oh, um, yeah, yeah. Delamo. Delamo. Is it Delamo? I think it's Delamo Mall. I believe it, I believe it is. Because people used to skate the UCLA Underground okay. too. Devil's Cavern Day One had some stuff there. Daniel. Yeah, but that was like in normal man. Just mm -hmm. us going at night. You know, we would go <coughs> rest a little bit, eat, and then we will just go back out and yep. skate twenty four seven. For sure. Dude, that's Get all. Home we, all late. That's all we were thinking of, dude. And dude. such amazing time, man. Like. When did you tr did you turn pro during this era right here? Um, I think you first shortly born, after, right? yeah, right. Yeah. When you got on. I think so. I um, I remember Rodney asking me like to turn pro. I remember going on a tour, me day one and and Shiloh, all over the U.S. for like three months. Was Rodney driving? Rodney was driving. That is crazy. <laughs> and and, and <laughs> fucking Spike Jones would come and shoot photos. He was crazy too, driving like nuts. He was crazy, dude. He was, <laughs> <laughs> he was hella crazy. Spike was nuts. Um, 
And I remember Rodney was like, yeah, we want to turn you pro. We want to turn you pro. And I was like, nah, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. You know, when I, when I thought of pro, Mike Carroll and Javante and all these dudes, Brian Lottie's, you know, dudes like. Was Love Child already out at this point or is this before Love Child? Uh, what was the first one? Love Child? Yeah. It was already out maybe. Okay. I, I don't know. I don't know when I turned pro. I mean, I turned pro in 92. Well, Love, Love Child was 92. 92? Yeah. Then after that, so New then, World Order was 93. Okay, so then Love Child. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. And so I was telling Rodney, no, I don't want to go pro. I don't want to go pro. You know, I, I come back from tour. I go to FTC and Kent's like, hey, we got your board on the wall. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and I was like, out. I guess I'm pro now. Damn. <laughs> you know? And then that was... That was the, the, the crazy graphic. Well, that, you were just saying before the show that, <laughs> you, you, had a, that. you had a crazy graphic that you couldn't even a, show your mom. I didn't show my mom. It was like the new colony, I think. I think that was my first one because I know that day one had like the Pope and Shiloh had another one with the forks or something yeah. like that with everybody. There you go. It's a sideways graphic, huh? Yeah. So that was you on the left, uh, second to the second board on the left? Or the, fir or the far left. Shit. Which one was yours? Was it even one of these? Mm. I don't even know. It had to be. Was it that one then? Maybe the new calling was a little bit after then, dude. I'm getting like the... That one just stood out like, damn. It stood out. Because yeah. 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 I couldn't even show it to my mom anyways, yeah. you know? Well, there was some like very... I mean, back then it was different though, but there was it was every board But graphic. to me, the orange the orange vendor is like... We got it right here. That's the one. That's the nine, That's 92, Mark Key. That's the one that I say... This that's is a like reissue though, My right? first year. I don't have the the original, mm. so if somebody is watching the Nine Club <laughs> and wants to part ways, I'm I'm willing to cough up like I don't know, like three bucks. <laughs> 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 can, you can make a trade. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a trade. I don't know if anybody even has it. I think Bro. only Mike McKee has when he had the art show. I think with all the boards, I bet you, I bet had you, it. Someone's got to have it. Bet you people have it. Yeah, for sure. but somebody just sent me um like a original not an original well it was like signed by mark mckee mm -hmm. it was like um 10 out of 10 uh like a painting of uh, oh yeah like the graphic and oh, i was wow. hyped that's super dope he just reached out and he just sent it out like he's, a, know, he's, he's rad mark mckee no but it wasn't mark mckee oh it wasn't it was, somebody, <laughs> it was yeah. some random, Bro, random gabriel i think his name was and he, he sent it to you he sent it to that's me that's super dope yeah wow. he's like hey i found this and i just looked it up and i saw that it was like i think one of your first boards okay and he's like, do you want it? And I was like, hell yeah. And then, so I sent him a shipping label to send it. And then he didn't even want anything back, but I sent him some stuff as That's well, dope. you know? That's but nice I, shift. dude. But you said before the show that you considered this your first graphic. I consider that. Because you can't, We it's the first graphic, what we think is a first graphic. Yeah. It's, it's a little hazy. I'm, it's a little hazy. Right. I don't know if one of those graphics was mine. It had to be. I think. Because it's it a series. Been. Yeah, yeah. And then the new calling was maybe right after, and yeah. then maybe this one was like after that. I right. don't know, dude. Right. It was, it's such a blur. But that you one know? didn't. That, that didn't. That one didn't rub you that the one, right way. That, that one sense. I couldn't even show. It. Like, mom, look, new colony. <laughs> <I'm pro>. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> but it's so funny. Yo, you, you guys can't find that, huh? Do I you see Raj it? is looking for it right now. Mm. But um, it's so funny because back then. Yeah, we were oblivious. No, but again, it was like there was we another, weren't even thinking about. And it. I think it was so world so too. Rats, bro. Yeah. Like, we didn't hey, there was another Happy graphic. I think of me. It's like a family, like almost getting hit by the like, by, oh, by the cars road. crossing yeah, the. Yeah, I remember that one too. <laughs> yeah. I remember that one too. <laughs> Crazy oh. graphics back then, man. There's yeah. Oh, wow. oh, welcome to California, yeah, bro. <laughs> Look at this shit, bro. Damn. Hey, man, it's based on a true story, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, Straight up. Did you notice around. a difference in turning pro? Like, was there more money involved, or was it just like, oh, cool, I'm naming Dude, when we were AM, we were getting like 300 bucks a month. Oh, okay. So it wasn't too bad. Um, I think when we turned pro, we were getting like 1500 That's up. But I remember telling Rodney, I was like, hey, just don't pay me for like, you know, this whole year, and then I, he'll just send me like the full amount at the no, end of the year. Did, did I was really? a little kid, I swear, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. Just oh, send so you got me the a big chunk at the Because it was almost like, <laughs> just hold it, like, you know, the bank. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you, know, <laughs> <laughs> you guys hold it for me. Found it. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. We might have to blur this out on, on YouTube, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no way, dude. Yeah. That, yeah. that was what? your first board. Like, why? Why, 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 like, why did you give me this graphic? Yeah. This don't make no why, sense. Dude? This is Chico Brennan's <laughs> first 
pro board that as a professional a skateboarder. I don't know if that was, it had to be like that serious, but this was like one of the first ones for sure, That's dude. Amazing, like I'm, bro. I think Sean Cliver did that graphic. Cliver? Okay. Why? Yeah. Why would anyone? Amazing. What's the story huh? behind that? <laughs> I almost feel like I, back then they were just whipping graphics yeah, up yeah. and they're signing that's people into yeah, right? Yeah. Oh, this is Chico. This would be great for Chico. <laughs> <laughs> oh and the shit, God. the graphics, the oh, controversial bro. graphics back then. Somebody blurred that. We they, were blurred doing, that they were doing that on purpose, that bro. They were oh, definitely like, dude, that's yeah. Insane. There were well, so were, many boards coming in black bags. Dope. Remember? It? Bro, there was that one with the... Uh, uh, yeah. Satan, Randy Colvin, oh, yeah. yeah, that Randy one. Colvin board, Randy, Randy Colvin, Colvin board. oh shit, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're talking about the we same. Circle, we always circle back to that same board yeah. for sure. Did you guys skate those boards? <clears throat> the the ones that were like crazy graphics, yeah. like the, the ones that came in the in the yeah. bags. Yeah, Dude, I had that Randy Colvin. Everybody was skating. original. Like, no, I mean like, yeah. I mean like the sponsor. Where? Guys, like, where? Where is it? Oh, I'm skating. <laughs> 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 Dude, I went. Well, we were skating all those boards. No, I'm talking yeah. about like had, the pros, like the oh like, the pros. Yeah, because like I was guys. skating them for yeah. sure. Yeah, we yeah. were. I was too. Yeah. The Javantes, the Randy Colvins, everything, yeah. man. It's crazy, man. Like, um, just talking to Jeff Hartzell when I went to Hawaii like a year ago. Just, I love picking, you know, like legends, like fucking, you know, or oh, like skateheads, just. It's their story and Picking their history. Their and Yo, shit, yeah. he was just telling me how you know he was like one of the first ones to like meet Ray Barbie and like Ray Barbie just showed up at his house and they were like, you know, just listen to all these like stories from back in the days, you know. And he was like, "Yo, Chico, man, when when you guys came in, I was like, yeah, I'm I'm out of here, man. When I seen you guys and you're like, <laughs> that's what for me. I was like, I was out because he was I, OG world. He was OG world. Mm. But like again, dude, like for us, those dudes were like, you know, we love those all dudes. Day. You know, like it's kinda... watching those Randy Coven and all those videos from back in the days with uh, the old world with Duck and John and all those dudes, man. Like it's kind of what Jesse Jesse is so good. Jesse Martinez, bro, bro idol. Mm -hmm. Jason Lee kind of said the same thing though. Yeah. He was kind of like when he I saw know. Eric Costin and all you guys coming up, he was like, I'm done. Eric Costin's ba backside flipping this crazy pyramid at this demo and Jason yeah. Lee's like, I'm, this is, I'm, I'm done. Yeah. yeah, but no, those, the Tommy G's and all those yeah, dudes man. and not as forever, man, forever. They're going to. This is rubber sheep right here. Yeah, dude. Duck and John, these dudes. Uh, I love this video, yeah, man. man. We so were, much. I always trip. And I'll, I'll keep saying it. I don't care if any people are sick of me saying it, but the time period back then was going so fast. It was from 91 was like blind video days. Then it was like literally the next year was plan yeah. B questionable. Yeah, yeah, then like, virtual reality, love child. Like it was yeah. going, you had a plan B questionable and then you had virtual reality a year mm -hmm. later. Mm -hmm. Like, but even before that Rana. too, Jeez. Like all the H Street videos, the Hocus Pocus yeah. and like, you know, right. Shackle Me Nots and all those things, you know what I mean? Like, but the lead up to from like setting. 89, Shackle Me Not 89, mm -hmm. 88 to like, that was setting, said, the, yeah, setting, setting the tone. Sure, sure. You know? But what we were time. getting all that stuff later, a year later. It's like crazy. you guys were all, <sighs> all seeing it live happening. And I, I always say this, dude, it's like, you know, we will do a trick and the, the video won't come out for like another year and a half. So, you know, People will put the VHS in and then figure out the trick then. You know, by that time, we were already moved on to That's something what I'm saying. else. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Same. Like, in But you guys now, were, you know, with Instagram, kids oh, yeah. just learn. But back then, learn. I don't even think yeah. you were even worried about somebody else doing your trick that you did. You had no idea Like it wasn't it even out. Right. Yeah. yeah. Like, it wasn't even a thing. You're like, oh, I hope nobody does that trick, that kick flip back to or whatever I did. Yeah. Yeah. You weren't, you weren't thinking, thinking about, about like that, that stuff. No. Not at all. Mm -mm. Not at all. Because back then, who else was doing it? You guys were the the people you know yeah people in your crew would, would be like no that's my trick yeah i mean like i had friends that would, would get bummed if i like, tried a trick that they would do and they call me xerox yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's true i remember being at I, e think it, I think you just didn't do it like it was out of respect like yeah. you know it was just like an unspoken kind of thing like, true you just don't you I know? remember being at EMB and it was uh, Henry and Carol and I was trying something and I remember specifically they were like, hey, can I try that with you? Yeah. Like that's, that, that, that was yeah. more of a thing. Like yeah. th That's like oh, almost like a, a respect thing versus like just going out and yeah. just doing it. And I thought that that was really, I was like, what? Yeah, let's, let's yeah. do this together. Mm. Let's. I don't care who Dude. bands it first. Like if you want to, let's go. I love that. You I know? remember one of my, you know, memories too is like at EMB, I wasn't sponsored or anything. Then I'm trying... I think I was trying like 
nose manual to 180 to switch manual mm -hmm. on the one of the C blocks. And and Lottie comes up. He's like, yo, I want to try that. And I was just thought it was the most amazing thing. I'm <laughs> yeah. fucking skating with Brian Lottie, dude. This, and he wants to try this trick with me. And I think I could have landed it before him, but I just didn't want to land it because I wanted to keep, <laughs> skating, keep skating with them. Yes. So yes, dude. Lottie, man. The illest, man. So I love good. that dude. Style, yeah, that trick selection. Man. Just one of the best, man. Yeah, for you sure. Know, did you have a little collab come out with him recently? Yeah. That was pretty awesome, we, man. We did like a remake of the Tron type of thing, you know. That's and sick. He actually painted like two uh, graphics that go together. Sick. Mm. For Chico Sticks. Yeah. Amazing, amazing dude, amazing person, amazing skater, man. Dude, so man. you were splitting your time basically between SF and LA at that point. You were coming down here a lot? <sighs> yeah. Um, I think I started probably when my son was a year old, like 96. Okay. I started like, I made, the I, think I, I mean, I was but always you, coming and staying for like three months, four months, you know, like months, you know, wow. like I was saying with Tim. But then I eventually made the move, I think, 96. I think at that time, everything was just getting shut down in um, mm -hmm. in the Bay Area, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, M EMB was gone. Pier 7 was, like, pretty much done. Like, a lot of the, you know... But everybody's was moving out, too. And slowly, Carol was, was moving, moving out. Like I would, people were I, moving I'm out. I'm the one who did that first, though. Yeah. I was one of the first ones to set Girl it Girl had already started. Chocolate had already started. 93, yeah. 94. Yeah. How was that, by the way, when, the, when Girl and Chocolate... Because Girl started first. When Girl, Girl started, started first, it, 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 I was already we were. I was with World. I was running for World. Yeah. Being in LA a lot, You're not living here, but staying like I said with with these guys for months and months and months. Right. And I remember the first time at the Santa Monica Courthouse, Tim telling me that they're gonna do Girl. Going down the list of like everybody that was gonna be on. It's like everybody. Javante, Jerron, you know, Costin, blah 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 blah, Sheffy. And I'm sitting there waiting for my name, bro. <laughs> no lie. I'm waiting for him to say Chico. Chico, yeah. yeah. That time never came. Nothing. And I was like, amazing. <clears throat> but deep down, I was like, hurt. Fuck. Uh, uh. But those were my guys. Tim and all those dudes were my dudes, man. So mm -hmm. even when Girl got, you know, got started, the boards came out, getting paid by World, and I'm writing Girl boards. Because these were my guys, man. <laughs> you know? I didn't care. And there was no Riding talk. Riding girl boards, and get collecting checks from the world. Love I love that. <laughs> but there was no talk at the time of, of chocolate yet. There was no time. And then like I told you, um, I'm staying with Tim time and time and time. Mm -hmm. And he, there's a tour that's going to happen. Right? And Tim's like, dude, pack your bags. You're going. I was like, dude, I'm not even on the team. What are you talking about? <laughs> just pack your bags. She goes, just come. Come on. We show up to fucking girl uh -oh. with my bags. You know. Um, the van's there, everybody's there, everybody starts fucking packing up and everything and taking their seats. And yeah, there's no more seats for fucking Chico. <laughs> <laughs> I got Tim, left. Tim trying to like no. be like, left, man. They left you. Yeah, I got left. I got left. And Damn. I think right then then was when they realized like- uh, We need more. With chocolate. Chocolate yeah. was like yeah. pretty much got started. I mean, because I, I got feel, left. Yeah, I feel <laughs> like- And I remember hearing the stories and shit, like <laughs> Javante <laughs> with boxes of shit, just selling. Bro, you that know? was a year of trip. Yeah, you, you would take I wish boxes. I would've went though, man. Mm. I wonder how that would've panned out though, riding for world and just going on a girl tour. <laughs> 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 I mean, you guys, they were my boys though, man. They were my, you know, still a lot of my boys, man. Because I feel I like with chocolate, boys. like a, I mean, girl got- there was a lot of people on Girl, right, at that time. And I feel yeah. like Chocolate was, they just needed more room. Like, they, they left a lot of people out. Not a lot, yeah. but they left a handful of people out. Mm -hmm. Like, including yourself. Yeah. What, Ben, Shamil, like, Daniel. York. But York. I don't know if there was even a thought of doing another company at the time. Yeah. Maybe, you know? It slowly, I mean, it's, but in that slow fashion, within a year, I mean, it happened within yeah. a year. Yeah. So. Right. When did they approach you with, uh, with Chocolate? <clears throat> um... I think they started mentioning them like a little, I don't know. Like hmm. I think they're just compiling like people like that, you know, would make more sense. And for the crazy company. thing is, it was the original crew, you know, it was me, Paulo, Gabriel, um, Kareem was supposed to be on. Yeah, oh, and Shiloh, wow. And Shiloh, I thought too. And then mm. Shiloh was supposed to be on too. And then some people, I don't know who, didn't want. Um, Shiloh on the team. So wow. 
Which was great because they ended up doing their own thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, but they want to imagine on, Reem on chocolate, on chocolate bro. bro That's crazy. He was supposed uh, to be on. Yeah. Wow. Did he not go because Shiloh? Yeah. Okay, so he stayed yeah. with Shiloh. Yeah. On World. And then I think you know uh, Rocco might have offered him to do his yeah. own thing over there right. for sure. So, yeah, damn. something more lucrative at but that I point. But I still damn, imagine if Reem was on chocolate, <laughs> bro. Oh, man, because we're super. Ill. Yeah, World was only like two years then. Like 91, 92, and then, ni well, maybe three. Yeah, it was short-lived, bro. Yeah. 93. Yeah. They took was, over the world real quick with that shit, though. Dude, that was crazy, bro. Yeah. I mean, I was a, a big fan. Mm -hmm. Like, fuck. It Just all those, all those names, man. All those. Look at this, bro. Here we go. Boom. Uh, What's that? 94, 95. hard flip. Varial heel. Varial heel. Varial heel. Varial heel. Okay. That's signature yeah. Chico right there, Varial heel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the nah. cool, yeah phone number at the bottom. Yeah. 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 Bay Blocks. Actually doing a board with Tobin at the Bay Blocks. Nice. Oh, the yeah, one on the wall right behind? Yeah, right here. Boom. That was a fun spot. It yeah, was. we gotta get in we'll get into all your uh the Chico sticks too. But um but real quick though, because I wanna talk Yeah. You were you had mentioned before when your mom she went to the hospital in Managua. Is that mm. how you say it? Yeah, Sorry. Managua. Managua. But when you you had your appendix taken out. Oh yeah, that was same that hospital. Was a, I went out of the same hospital. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that was you know already me pro and everything. Yeah. I was like I think twenty years old. Alex was born. Okay, and then, um, this is during World Days or or Chocolate Days. Chocolate. It was chocolate. chocolate. Okay, Chocolate Days. Okay. Yeah, I was uh, on a trip in Nicaragua visiting family and everything, and um, I started getting like a pain. I remember, and then I kind of just shook it off. Went to visit my dad, like six hours away. It started getting like really bad, and I was puking out there. And I remember my uncle was coming to the Capitol, and I just hopped in the back of his truck, brought me back to the uh, to the Capitol, and then told Mike the family that I was still having these problems. And I remember they did like this ultra town thing, and then they they saw that it was like mad liquids, and then fucking my appendix had burst wow Damn. and then right then they had it pretty much that's deadly S emergency you're surgery. supposed to die when you know all this pus they took out half a liter of a pus oh. out of my stomach but wait where this mm. was not at a hospital this was at the uh, the farm no <laughs> i was i was already at the capital okay um this was at a hospital uh -huh. but it wasn't like uh it was just like a general like regular hospital because that's where my uncle worked at I could have went to like a private hospital and uh -huh. like, you know what I mean? But I, my uncle was like, I can't, I'm There's working. Time. I can't be going back and forth to see him like once he gets mm. out of surgery or whatever. Mm. Okay. So, so your uncle is a doctor. My uncle is a doctor. A legit okay. doctor. Okay. Because like, okay. you know? the stories I heard was like, yeah, yeah his uncle no. cut him open and took out his appendix, <laughs> yeah, yeah. man. It was crazy. <laughs> yeah. I know that's the story. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I remember wanting to leave like, they haven't, I haven't, I didn't have the surgery yet. I was just remember, got back to Managua. And I was like, let me get on this plane. I just want to leave. I just want to leave. If I would have got on that plane, I would have died yeah. in air. Right. And I would have landed, wherever I would have landed, I would have been fucking dead. Mm. I swear. Um, but he saw that and it just, right away, they just took me in. They fucking, surgery cut me up. And um, yeah, I remember fucking woke up and I my, my top of my, my stomach was like, still a little bit open like my inside oh. like not my inside but my top it, that shit yeah. looked like fucking sushi bro <laughs> like, just now, I remember the picture you showed me the picture bro yeah. I was like no dude um, I guess they wanted to make sure that everything was functioning like the only thing that they told me to do like if you if you can fart we can sew you back that means like oh you're in test everything okay. is back to normal no. you know what I mean so they didn't want to sew me up everything completely and me not be able to do that yeah. and fucking open me again, up again uh, yeah you know so left, left a little window bro, open like five days go by i can't do that six days nothing doctors are coming to pretty much write me off too like and then he's like i can't let i can't tell this mother this i can't like you know and they were gonna bring me back in and i remember like on the like 10th day a fucking little <laughs> in the whole hospital. Yeah! <laughs> they started cheering, dude. Like, bro, 
Never cheered so, Dude, so, yeah, so, so yo, much for a right. fart. Dude, it was like the most amazing thing. And then, boom, they sold me back up. But like every day they would wow. come in and like, have you been able to like, you know? Yeah. Like, no. No, and I would go for walks to try to get everything. I would go to the toilet. Oh, so you were to mobile to... at the time, too. Yeah. Like a little bit. Yeah. A little okay. bit. I don't know okay. what was wow. going on. Wow. But it was like general, like general, general hospital. Like I remember like getting out of surgery and um, waking up and there's just like other people like around me. And I was like, what the fuck? And people are like middle of the night, like screaming because they can't buy like, uh, you know, like medicine, like fucking for pain, oh, you know? Wow. Like people would bring food and they're just like, it's just, they will just throw it in the garbage. And luckily I had my family bring me food, bring me medicine, whatever I fucking needed. Mm. But I needed to be there because my uncle was a doctor, you okay. know, like okay. working there. Right. So I couldn't go to like a, anywhere else. Wow. But yeah, the people were like, you know, fucking half a, you know, missing legs and fucking just screaming because <sighs> they can't buy like. The proper you know, medicine. Yeah, right. Probably, right. How, how, how long did it take for you to recover from that? Um, probably a few months. Wow. I remember fucking, I was like fat. I was getting fat. And then I came back and I was skinny again. <laughs> <laughs> you were getting fat. I was laid up, yeah. I was drinking a lot of cervezas at the time. And this I was, yeah. A, uh, yeah, Do you think that's dude. what caused the, the appendix? The appendix just could happen yeah, to really? anybody. You can go your whole life without like, you know. Yeah. I think my mom had her appendix out, what? At so seven, yeah, that whole thing. Or something? Yeah, my wife so, just not that long ago. Oh yeah. It cost 300 bucks. Like That's not bad. To do the whole thing. That's it, not bad, actually. It could have cost 20,000 or 30,000 here in the U.S. So Whew. I got the hookup and Nika, if you're anybody. <laughs> okay, you got the, I'm, I'm kidding. Damn. Jeez. That's crazy though, man. Wow. Yeah, like. Nah, I so remember scary, that was bugging, man. I was bugging scary. at that time for sure. I remember being like in the bed and they put like some plasma shit on me. I don't know what it was. And I just started, it was sunny ass day and I just started going in convulsion. Dude, like it was cold and it was sunny as hell. And I thought I was cold. Like, and they fucking took that thing off and then I came back to normal. But dude, my family Good thought I was Lord. fucking done. Jeez, they thought man. I was dead, dude. Wow. I thought it was over. Um, Going back to chocolate. I just thought of that. I was like, damn, that's No, so thank you, because I forgot yeah. about it. Bro, that's I crazy, forgot. bro. Like yeah, I said, I, the story was like, damn, his uncle just took his appendix yeah. out, and man, it was yeah. like. Yeah. Just, it's, a, it's a good <laughs> story. Like, it's it's a, a good. I just <laughs> ran with it. Like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought it was like his uncle was a veterinarian. <laughs> a that's veterinarian. Like, oh, that's another good story. <laughs> I run with that, too. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, he's legit, legit. Like, you know, even went to study in Colombia too and got like, he's like, I think one of like three doctors in the Nicaragua for colon cancer or some shit like okay. that. Yeah. Oh, Damn. Damn. Yeah. Shout out to the uncle, man. The uncle. Uh, Saved your life, man. Dude. That's awesome. One of the best videos that I, I think is the most underrated chocolate video of all time, like the Paco video. Las Nuevas de Paco. Wait, what? how, what, how do you yeah, say it again? Las Nuevas Vidas de Paco. Vidas de Paco. <laughs> Yes, I think that is. It's one of the first of all best Gabriel Rodriguez part ever. Mm, oh, so yeah. good, rest in peace. Rest man. in peace, man. But Straight like up, man. that, it's a it's a most underrated chocolate video. I think. I think nobody really talks about it as much as they should. But it yeah. is such a good video, and you did all the voiceovers. You and Sock, <laughs> and and I think <laughs> Paulo's brother uh, was it Paulo's brother, possibly. I think so, but it was funny, man. Filming for that thing was hilarious. Just going into. Uh, <laughs> San Bernardino, um, not knowing what we were getting ourselves into, you know, Spike, full production, right. like three day, two days of just like really hot and, and you know, doing the skits and everything, you know, like doing the Tim, the Tim, the little gopher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Funny, just bro. flame all over his face, like, get oh me out of here. God. But you guys, also, you breaking the, the, the thing over. The candy. Yeah, over yeah. Mike's head, the bottle, the fake bottle. <laughs> But this video, so, the yeah. music's so good, the, yeah. the the little skits and everything. Man. It set the tone for chocolate. Like it was his first video, and it like, yeah, it, it so set good. the set the just the way the brand looked. And all fun, you guys, man, fun spots everywhere. You know, that's when we were hitting the courthouse quite a bit. Yeah, the courthouse. We were just spending a yeah. lot of time there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> It's so good, though. It's such a good video. But that must have been fun, though. So you did the voiceovers, like, later. 
like after the yeah. fact what would you how would you do it did you have a microphone i think would you so just... and i think i'm the one who says necesito otra bebida it's just <laughs> It's just like I need another drink. When Keenan, <laughs> <laughs> like I said, though, it was like a Nicaraguan, a Mexican, and a Guatemalan, I think, <laughs> doing the voice. The it just sounds so fucked up. <laughs> 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 and we all have our own lingo, you know, in the way. It's so good. What was so, the one you were like yelling? Like, that's a, that's a Punane! That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, Not the Punane. <laughs> yeah, that, that was, I, I went to actually go to uh the uh, sand, sand gaps yesterday just and reminisce. I remember the, uh, just to reminisce yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and yeah <laughs> and Nicaraguan style bro Wait, hold on hey you so see the two good. loops yeah I see that <laughs> um, so Tim's mom she used to call me George Michael bro cause I had like like blonde like I would try to blonde my hair and I had longer, a little bit longer hair she's like oh George Michael <laughs> yeah. I was like, damn, your mom is funny, Tim. Oh my god, <laughs> so good. Man. What video is this? New World Order. New World Order, mm. dude. Damn, I think that's going San Diego. San Diego yeah. dude. I think that that spot's still there. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go try to do that. <laughs> yeah. I think Balboa Park. That, part's, that place is tight, dude. I don't think I could do that line. You can definitely. You can do, do it, that. dude. You're still skating. You still. <laughs> you're probably doing a board this big, <laughs> dude. Yeah. Two by four. Yeah, yeah. Bro, that's a thing, man. Is like your your Chico sticks when you uh, first of all, like when when you were when you left chocolate, right, and you started you just started to skate like like shaped boards. I, I remember like. uh, Vern sent me like a, that Tommy Guerrero board. I mean, I was skating that big boy. Okay, I remember that the big after boy. getting hurt, I found that board by accident. I like set the big boy was like a nine. Yeah. It was it was a shaped board because I remember I I, I remember. When I started coming back from my injury, uh, I tore my ACL, my meniscus, and MCL actually mm. in 2015 Damn. in Taiwan filming for one of the LRG videos. And I thought it was a wrap, dude. I thought my career was done. I remember calling Chocolate, hey, I, I got like a little scratch on my knee. I should be good next month. I, uh, <laughs> dude. Back then, you didn't want to tell people back then, no, right? No, yeah. I, I kept it on the wraps. And then what I kept doing is just like putting out old footage. So it's like, they didn't even know like I was, mm -hmm. wow. you know, I just kept posting like older clips and right. stuff like that and just recovering. But I didn't think, I wish I would have like filmed all that or made a video about all that because you can come back, dude. Yeah, and I, you know, because totally. at that time I'm like 40 something, like 40, like 39, 40, mm -hmm. I think at the mm -hmm. time when it happened. So I thought it was over. I didn't think I was going to be able to. And I almost didn't get the surgery, dude. And I remember, yeah, I remember I wasn't going to get the surgery because I thought I wasn't going to be able to skate no more. Wow. And I did it because of my daughter. I was like, dude, I don't want to, I want to be able to run and yeah, do things with my yeah. daughter. Oh, and I basically just did it because of her, man, okay. you know? But then when you got a nine inch board to 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 kind of come back, I, I thought that was a weird choice because I feel like it's, it's heavy. No, it's I big... set it up just to cruise. Oh, okay. I remember setting it up, set up big wheels so I wouldn't hit a rock and go flying and set up that board as a cruiser um, and started just pumping around Potrero, you know, mm. I remember. And then I did that for a while and then just kind of listening to your body because they told me I wasn't going to be able to come back for like a year or okay. to start skating. And I remember already, because I've been through uh, ACL surgery and after six months you can start pushing, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But this one was a little bit more than just the ACL, you know, it was a meniscus and MCL so I had to wait a month for my MCL to heal. Like I couldn't put any pressure. Like usually when you do ACLs, you can kind of start walking out of the hospital already and start like, you know, mm. working on it. But with this one, since it was an MCL also, I had to wait a month to put pressure on my on my leg. So you got them all done at the same time? At the same time. Yeah. Hmm. Um, and so I set up that board and a couple of months later, I put up regular wheels still not you know able and then like when like eight months or whatever when i was feeling better i remember doing like a nollie hill and i just couldn't believe like i was the way it was flipping like i just seen that shit just come to my feet all you know flip all buttery and i was like what on the shape <laughs> the nine the nine the inch nine wow the nine just came up and that was that was it and i think it's just the way it was shaped because it was like kind of tapered inside. Okay. It wasn't, it doesn't feel like a full nine. Like it's a nine in the middle, mm. but since it tapers 
on the nose and tail, <laughs> it feels way smaller than a nine. You know, but you kept yeah. it moving with those boys, and, then, <laughs> and I was like, "What is this yeah, guy you know doing?" What's crazy? Like crazy, he's doing. You know what's crazy? The wood shop where I was doing like my shop boards at in at PGI, they were stuck with like a thousand of those boards because that was a Brian Anderson board that they did. It was all like white paint, you know, like a white. Oh, um, it dip was board? a Brian Anderson white dip. Oh, wow. it was a Brian Anderson. They had a thousand. They couldn't move them. Okay, they couldn't move them. I started like just falling in love. And this is like, uh, I'm doing it like, you know, not because I'm faking it. It's, like you, yeah, it's coming it's naturally out happening. naturally, like mm-hmm. unique. You know what I mean? Because I'm loving the shape. Right. Started writing that shape. And then within like a few months, all those boards, like, you there know, they go. actually put that board on, on my name on that board. And then I just started moving. I just started like really Who talking about on that board? chocolate. Okay. And then they were able to move like that stock that they couldn't <laughs> move at all, right, dude. Right. Did you that cl- make you? Did that click something in your and head? And then that clicked, and then yeah, and then I, Vern sent me a Tommy Guerrero that I just wanted to get a sign by Tommy and put it on the wall, and I just set that up too. Mm-hmm. I actually had to drill the, because my whole thing was um, the wheelbase was like what really I never really paid attention yeah, to the wheelbase, yeah. but I saw that that uh, big boy nine board that I was running was a fourteen inch wheelbase, and I remember before trying a popsicle 8.5 and the wheel was was bigger and i couldn't f- tray flip as f- like my tray push was super slow and i couldn't yeah, get it around yeah. so i was like dude it's the wheelbase right you know and that's what it was dude you can put like a 12 inch board and if it has a 14 inch which it went uh inch wheelbase i'll tray flip it bro so you need so yours the the magic number for you in the wheelbase 14, is 14 14 and a quarter okay mm. i'll go okay. You know, and then so I was writing those big, the big boys, and then those, um, a lot of the power boards. Okay. Yeah. I remember seeing you, and I was like, this I man just, has lost it, it his was, mind. It was, but <laughs> but no. he is you know what it killing was? it. You know what it Tony was? Chris? boards. Mm-hmm. It was. It was because I couldn't afford these boards back in the days, like I told you. Mm. You know, so it brought me back to my childhood, bro. It brought me back to like, how pure and how much we love skateboarding and that you know what i mean right it brought me back to to that era like seeing the tommy board seeing the the mike valelli board just brought me back to that time and space and i just fell in love with skateboarding again crazy and sometimes people don't find that don't find that spark 100 percent in the skating you know and for me so riding all these different boards just brought that spark and i got psyched and i would want to go skate I would want to go, let me see if I can nolly heel on this board. Let me see if I can tray flip on this board. Let me see if I can uh, laser on this board. And some things will work and some things wouldn't work, dude. Yeah. I mean, you, know? you, were, you were- But I was having so much fun and I'm still having so much fun. I love it. Because yeah. yeah. d- d- down here, we're looking at you skating these shaped boards on Instagram and you're just like, you're killing it. Nolly heel, this, that, and the other. Blah, blah, blah. Like, like you were just skating a, no- a normal board. Yeah. And I'm like, Damn. <laughs> it looks like you're having fun, Crazy. though. That's what you can see through the footage. It yeah. looks like you're genuinely having fun. No, it's cool. You're bringing it back yeah. to the essence like that. And, like, you know, for you to re- rediscover that later at 40. Yeah. Fucking and, like I said, some people, three or two. some people, you know, keep riding their popsicles and they're just, it just got boring, dude, yeah. too. It's just like, you know, it just got boring. I feel for like me, as so. we get older, too, like, I, I, I've noticed sitting here talking to people, too. We're messing with our boards more and more now. Like we were talking to, I think Jamie Thomas was here. He's like, oh, I, I color, I paint on my grip tape and do all that stuff. Like, no, n- no, we weren't doing that. No, we black grip tape. That's it. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Well, us, we the little we were doing graffiti. You know, on your grip saw, tape. On the grip tape. You saw Sheffy doing all kinds of stuff. I would never. Painting stuff. Yeah, we, had, we, were, we were tagging back mm. in the days and we would be throw up a little tag. Mm-hmm. Here and then, but I think you, you the it, you just get a little more experimental, you know. Oh, yeah. let me try this. Let me try that. Like, let me see what like psychs like gets me psyched, you know. I mean, going back to what you're saying about the wheelbase, bro. I, wheelbase. I don't know nothing yeah. about no yeah. wheelbase. So if I were to try that <laughs> now, I probably would notice a difference. Like, damn, yeah. I can do nylon heels better on a 14 inch wheelbase. Yeah. Well, most wow. boards, if they got to like it. 8.25 the wheelbase got bigger yeah and you there was there's yeah. never a board that wide that was that yeah. short so and, i remember yeah. when the bigger boards the popsicles like bigger people started running bigger boards i was like oh let me because i was always writing either the eight 
or an eight and a quarter, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm, yeah. never nothing bigger. So I was like, people were writing the eight and a half. And I was like, let me try that. And I would try to trade. And I was like, man, this is budget. Take yeah. that shit apart. <laughs> yeah. You know, and I was just like, oh, this is whack. I, I love, love it. it. I, I love because like not only did that just carve out another path for you. Go ahead. Do you want to say something? No. Yeah. So when that Tommy, I ended up drilling the holes back to 14 inch. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So it even had like a little bit bigger nose because those boards have no nose. Right. Sure. So right. I was able to even like, no slide. Nolly Hill. Oh, no, yeah. okay. Like, I I, it's not popping. How do you figure out how to Nolly Hill on these boards? There's no it's nose. just like how I figured out how to, and that took hella, like I didn't figure <laughs> this shit out until later. No Swilly, uh, Nolly Hill Loud. I could never do that before, bro. Really? Yeah. It's not maybe you in the last- Back in the day, all the trips we went on, you never do it with maybe, maybe in the last, I don't know, like 10 plus years, oh, but yeah. before- I could never do it because I, I would try to pop it. Once you pop it, you uh, just go flying forward. Yeah. You have to wait until the nose is past the, yeah, yeah. you know. Past the and curve. I, yeah. yeah. So if so you don't even hit it. It's almost like a, you know, like your you're pressure, it's a you pressure point. Yeah. And so you kind of just that's it. all yeah. you're doing with, with, right. with these boards. You're just whiffing, whiffing it, you know, it. and it just goes. I feel yeah. like like 90% of the people who do something out of a manual are whiffing it anyway. Yeah. Like you're not really clicking your tail. Dude, your <laughs> you whiffed it up the boat. Like I said. <laughs> I just throw shit and see what sticks. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Straight up. But it's because you know? of the wheelbase, you'll be able to do like the tray flips and stuff like Dude. that. Like I was saying before though, I think that but, like, go ahead. And the other yeah, thing yeah, I was yeah, saying yeah, is yeah, like, yeah. imagine if we were able to do this shit back in the I past know. days. Yeah. I know. You know, it's possible like if we were thinking. But nobody crazy, was doing that. Shit. Nobody yeah, was yeah, doing yeah. Skateboarding yeah. was just. I remember going on so new on trips with you and like if you had a board you set it up and you couldn't nollie heel right away you yeah, take it right it's off. It's done because it's not me. <laughs> I don't build nollie heels. It's the board. The board's warped. Something's and that, going on. And that always happened, dude. Yeah. I swear, it's it's a true story. Like if I set up a board, the first thing I'm gonna do before a K flip because I suck at K flip. I can do K flip, but I suck. I'd rather do a nollie heel. Right. And if I don't land it first try or second try, I'll, sometimes I give it another try, you know. <laughs> but mostly first first try, right, right, right. I'll take that board apart and set up another one, bro, because yeah. it's not me. Yeah. <laughs> it can't be. The concave ain't right on it's this. Never it's, it's never you. And then I said to Dave, and Dave was like, "Look, it's warped." <laughs> <laughs> I remember Dave would put the boards down. Yeah, put the boards down. That's a minus five dollars right there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But did you? <laughs> he was so, still buying that. Yeah, 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 yeah. but you was, losing, you was losing five dollars, bro. Yeah, yeah. A little warp is a little to the side. I think his shit was rigged. <laughs> you think it was already? Yeah. every board, every, every board was warped. His thing was a little bit off, so yeah. every board's gonna. Every board was <laughs> fucking warped. Hey, he was hustling, man. You gotta. You yeah, gotta you respect, gotta. You gotta respect I gotta respect the, it, all, yeah, you know. His, his hustle was great real. times. When man. you so when when that clicked when you. Put they when you, they got your name on the board and that sold out of them and everything and you were finding your own like little way of you know like the skating the shaped boards mm-hmm. was that one of the reasons why you left chocolate was to start your own thing or like what was going on right there like were you already like in a in a in a in a in a space like because you had hurt your knee like what was going on at that point um, I felt like it was just time to move on okay I mean it's respectable. Re- yeah, I mean to be honest, the the truth. You want the truth? Mm-hmm. You can't handle the truth, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> lie to me, lie to me. Yeah, you yeah, want yeah, the no. truth? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Truth. go ahead. I mean, the checks is like they were hella late, man. Mm. And it wasn't that it was only one month. This was happening for years, mm. and they will be late for like three months, bro. You know, and, and sometimes you feel like scared calling because I, I was taking it like, like I was gonna get kicked off. Oh, That's the gotcha, way I took gotcha, it, and yeah. nobody's communicating, nobody's saying anything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, nobody's calling, and I'm scared to call because I'm. They're gonna be like, "Well, you know what, Chico, we were thinking about you know letting you go anyways." <laughs> yeah, so you don't even want to call, man. Yeah, you don't want to get the bad. Yeah, it, wasn't, it wasn't like the world days where you're like, "Let that shit stack up." Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. They weren't stacking it up for you. <laughs> and this was, you know, in the beginning. I'm getting checks from LRG. I'm getting checks by DVS, so it didn't matter. But when those checks, other checks were gone, and right. you're depending on a check, and they're late, and I always, you know, got to hit it. Hey, you're kind of late, you know, but you 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 got January, but you know you missed the <laughs> before all that shit, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was keeping tabs, bro. I'm sure. Give me my money as you should. I was keeping tabs, you know, and you still owe me for this month. And like there was a time it was like four months. Wow. And the crazy thing is, <clears throat> I swear I felt like. Like calling and being like, 
because it doesn't take like a like a a financial dude to know like okay there's like turbulence going on you mm -hmm. know what i mean but the fact that they they didn't call or anything like that and and there was times i felt like calling and being like hey don't pay me for the whole year but once december comes i want my full amount right and i'll be ready to pick up the phone chris and call them and I'll be like, why Why do I need to do this? This is not my company. I don't have no fucking stakes in this. Like, why do I need, are they doing that? Right. Is Mike doing that? Is Rick doing that? Why do I need to like sacrifice? Sure, you sure, know? sure, sure. Like, and supposedly we were a family. Why, why don't you just- Yeah, hit me up. Hit me up. Yeah. You know? And if somebody, if I'll take a call from Sam Smythe too, bro. Mm -hmm, if mm -hmm. Sam, you know, Rick or Mike or Megan should have called me. Right. But I'll take a call from Sam Smythe. You know, and I would have been on still. If somebody had been like, hey, don't worry, you're going to get your shit. Mm -hmm. You know, we're going to be a little late. And I, you remember that time I set up a meeting, like fucking, we had like a, a, a girl and chocolate, we had a meeting because I get a call. I'm not going to mention no names, but uh, it was, uh, I get a call from Stevie uh, Perez. He's like, hey, doggy, you, get, you got your check yet? And I was like, oh, shit. It's not just me, cause mm. I, I'm thinking like it's just me right. that they're just missing on my right. checks, cause they're trying to, you know, I'm getting pushed out type shit. Yeah, that's your your own mind, and that, you and know? that when you're in that sense, of course you're gonna think. Plus, that we're way. getting yeah. older too, yeah. getting but, and then you you, you yeah. have your your knee. You know, there's a bunch of shit that you could be possibly thinking in those moments, but until you actually talk to somebody, yeah. you're not gonna really know. Yeah, but and yeah, for them to be on. So that I end, set up a, I set up a a meeting with everybody to try to address the problem everybody you know and I was like, and Rick was like man this is great what you're doing you know what I mean like we talked about the video and then mm. I, I I I asked Rick I was like hey man some of you know our guys are not getting the checks and I don't know it made it seem like he didn't know what was going on oh let me check you know and make sure you know uh, that he had no clue that was going yeah. on hmm. yeah you know but you know your owners like you should gotta know what the yeah, hell is going yeah, on yeah, yeah, totally yeah. how is I mean, so those you, uh, those situations are tough. I mean, to to shy away from that type of situation, I, I mean, it's, it's uh, probably not the best thing to do. You know what yeah. I mean? But you know, and then uh, it, no, I mean, I was I was already, I mean, also going on trips. Like I felt like even filming for the for the video. You know, I would go skate with the guys and everything, and then somebody would be like, "Hey, you going to Barcelona?" I didn't, even, <laughs> didn't even know about Barcelona. Yeah, I didn't even know right. idea about Barcelona. I hit up Sam. Hey, Sam. Hey, can I come on that trip? Well, you know what? We, you know, the budget came from somebody else. You know, Mountain mm -hmm. Dew gave us some money. So I felt like, you know. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it wasn't, I mean, Jerry probably too. Like a lot of people just was like, I don't know. It's, it's, I get it that you're trying to like push the new guys and everything yeah. like that. But. You can't forget about the old guys. And I, I feel like I still had some shit to offer, man. All for day. sure, for sure. So, and then the last straw was when they cut everybody's shit in half. Mm -hmm. Like I get a call from Mike and he's like, hey, um, we're cutting, you know, we're cutting your check in half. But don't worry. It's just not just you. It's everybody, <laughs> you know? Right, right. I was like, oh, all right, all right. And then I was like, what about the back pay? He's like, yeah, don't worry. You're going to get all that, mm -hmm. you know, and got the back pay, everything was cool. And then I remember getting that first check and it was already late. And and that's when I decided, it's like, I'm not going to be calling for fucking pennies, man. Time, I'm, it's yeah. a wrap. Right, right, you right. Know? right, and right, right there, right. I was just like, I'm done. It was one of the fucking scariest things of my life, man, to be honest. Sure. You know, you've been with these people for so long. And grew it was, up with them. Grew up with yeah. them, you know. And it was actually one of the, the, the hardest, the hardest like thing because yeah you're like you know what the fuck are you gonna you can't it's over skate is over that's what i was thinking that's this right. is over right you know i just have to like take it you know it's, it's done like but i i couldn't i couldn't keep living like this yeah. and i probably should have deaded this shit like six years before man you know you're talking about like talking to them i should have probably just, left oh like, like three years yeah, but or if, four if you, years before i, I feel like if because I, I once i moved to sf I felt like I was totally like on my own. Right. Mm. You know, like out I'm of, away out from of, these out guys. Out of mind. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, you were living in LA for a while. I was right? living in LA yeah. for a while, but by, once I moved the the move to SF, I thought it, you know, I like you're not getting invited to like trips, anything. It's like you got to keep calling for boards and you calling for your check and yeah, you know, 
and I was like at the time you know I just started writing the shop boards like the central boards mm -hmm. you know I just started putting like my that's right because you had your shop I had my shop yeah and, and I was trying to uh, build a team build something to that you know For what I sure. mean and then bring it to girl and then have them like that way, hey, don't pay me. You know, let, let, let's just build this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I wasn't, my whole idea was not even to use any of your artists. Like, we're already doing the, everything. Right. Like, we're already doing everything. We don't have to use your artists. All we need is just your distribution. That's all. Mm. You know? And I spoke with Mike, and maybe Mike was like, but Mike was like, I felt like the one that I felt the closest with. At the, you know, because like, I don't know which is, but I think it was <laughs> the wrong person to talk to. <laughs> I should have just talked to like everybody and not sure. just Mike. But I was like, hey, Mike, you know, like let's, what's up with trying to bring Central over, you know, and right. I'll move on for chocolate. So we'll take like some of your pay and, you know, help me like build. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, let me talk to everybody. But like, I don't know. He never really nothing, got back to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was it. Yeah. It's tough. I mean, I, I got left out of a lot of trips too. And I, I sometimes I come to think about it. I, like I get bitter, you know, and I'm yeah. like, and then I think about like, there's like 20 something people on the team. Do you know how much we it all, costs? We all felt like that, bro. Yeah. I've been left out of plenty of trips. Like, yeah. But at the same time, it's like, you also got to go back. Like if you're not really popping and not doing your shit, and you're kind of like just lingering out there and not really trying yeah, to be involved. Yeah, there was a lot. There was a lot. You're of gonna get like left that. behind on some yeah, things. You know sure, what I mean? Sure, That's just yeah. the, re the reality yeah. of it. You I'm, gotta make sure that if you're going to be a part of this so-called girl in chocolate, mm -hmm. you gotta make sure that you're around and trying to be around and making those calls. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I, believe me, I felt like you t plenty of times as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I mean, I felt like that. I feel like that it's been such a home for me that it would be so tough for me to be yeah. like get no, up and, and don't get me wrong shit's been tough, late too we, we, it's been late but not to the <laughs> point it's not to the point where it's, it, but I could I could understand five and six months that mm. definitely getting to a point where and then and nobody's then, getting no bro, calls if like, somebody you know, would have called me and told me that hey you're gonna get it don't even trip you, would I would have still I would have been still on yeah like 100% but how do you <sighs> feel about it now looking looking back at it now and where you are now with like Chico sticks and like doing your thing? Like I'm I, Bro, it's the best thing I could have done. I'm yeah. everything you're happens scared. for a reason. You're right? scared. Happens for a reason for you're sure. scared. Yeah. You're scared of like you know, but you just gotta make that leap, man. Right. I swear. You just gotta make that leap and Well, if one door didn't close, yeah, yeah. what other door would have opened? Yeah. Right? We would have Chico sticks wouldn't even been on our, yeah. in our in our vocabulary right now. For sure, right? But well, you were that, he made that decisions, which is pretty um, like you said that was the scary moment. It, was scary it wasn't thing. something that like was brought upon you. Like you yeah. did that yourself. Yeah. They didn't be like that. Yeah, Chico, like you gotta, we got to yeah. let you go. No, bro. that was right. my decision, one hundred percent. Because sure. I I I couldn't live another five years or be there another five years in the same shoes. Right. Mm -hmm. I I couldn't allow myself to do that, yeah. man. I just couldn't yeah, be in that yeah. same position. I guess like I can't. This is not it. Sure. I got to move on. There was a reason you did it, bro. And, and it was and, a perfect reason. Bro, it is, thank God, man. Thank God, man. It's like, it was the scariest thing to do, but, you know, everything like worked out like I was supposed For to sure. work well, it out. Well, it seemed like a little, I, a little fire under you, not just to escape, but like creative wise to go out there and like find these new shapes and create this whole new thing. But yeah, I was just having fun. Like I didn't, you know, I I had no I I, I kind of wanted to do something. I actually wanted to like try to maybe get picked up or like by somebody, but I I was realistic. Like I'm already mm -hmm. older, you know, and I'm not just gonna get an, an any other brand, bro. I'd rather yeah. just call it quits. Of course, sure. you know, I'm I'm coming from one of the best brands, you know, ever, and to go to like a random something, I can't do it. Yeah, I can't yeah. do it, you know. And a lot of people were hitting me up at the time, like, but it was it was just like a whatever, it makes sense. or right. for like to do a guest board, you know. And I'm like, if I'm gonna do a guest board, I'll just do my own shit. Like, why am I? Gonna <laughs> 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 I'm gonna have yeah. my, that was my whole thinking. I was like, no, the only guest board I did was with Jim Thibault, and that's because I kind of left them. Like, you know, I was supposed to like they started flowing me board, and I just yeah. kind of left them for world. <laughs> I was like, I gotta do this for Jim. <laughs> and then Mark cool. Gonzalez is doing the graphic. It was there like it's go. no brainer. Yeah. And then Jim's like, we can do your big boy shape, you know? I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> Bro, they did the big boy shape and they did a popsicle shape. And they did they usually do five hundred, I think, mm -hmm. on the um guest boards. They did a thousand and those shits just flew. Wow. I mean it, it was the right timing, I think, because yeah. I was filming for that seven by seven and cool. everything happened to come out at the same time. For sure. So, you know, it worked out like 
perfectly yeah. and those boards just flew and then all right what's next you know i was like maybe i would have loved to have been on crooked or something like that you know i was like oh ray just got on you know maybe you know and there'll be like a like a le legend like a, yeah. like a yeah. you know Synergy older with, guys yeah, type sure. of thing legends type of thing you know because there was only two brands that I would really would have got on. It was either it was either Cricket or Palace, bro. Right. Yeah. You know, and that was it. And but I come from a generation where if you see me messing with your shit, you know, and and you want to mess with me, let's make this happen. I'm not the type to be like, "Hey, man, I'm still out here killing it, yeah. dog." <laughs> <laughs> you want my sponsor video? Yeah. You can't do that. You want you see my resume? It's yeah. online. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I liked, yeah, when talk. you started getting palace stuff, no, I was psyched on that just because I'm like, oh, those those guys respect those. Yeah, geez. they respect, and yeah. I love those dudes for that, man. Yeah, I yeah. love they're they're tight, man. They're super dope, you know. What no, I mean? they, yeah. they definitely praise. That's for sure. Yeah. They're, they're big, big and they flew up. me out there to be on this like video thing. Where in the London? To London to mm -hmm. be to work on this thing. So I was like, oh shit, maybe you know what I mean? Right, right. Yeah, but nothing ever like followed up and like i said i'm not gonna be the one to be yeah. like they nah, see me riding their boards you shouldn't have to do that bro you created such a legacy for for yourself chico brennan's bro so like there was only a matter of time that somebody was going to be like at least wanting to fuck with you to some degree yeah. but like yeah, and don't there be, was don't keep me lingering let me let me like tell that. you look, there was like a lot of like I, again there was a lot of like uh people wanted to do like guest boards mm -hmm. there was another company too where like really wanted to bring me on i don't i'm not gonna say the name man element no, <laughs> it was Pal. <laughs> Pal. Pal. Wow. Like, oh, sick. But I was, I was like, hell, you know, not hell, no. But I was like, no, no, no. I was like, I can't. I mean, they I, got I'm, a good track record. You no, know, right? I was like, around for a hey, while. If it was the Bones Brigade area, hell yeah, <laughs> the Bones Brigade era, I would have hundred percent. I would have been on. But then the the homie was like, dude, we'll do like a fucking older shape, and it kind of like. Mm. You know, drew my, like a little bit, but then I, I didn't really follow up. I think up. you're in the right yeah. spot right now, nah, to be honest. Job, like, doing your own sure. shit. No, man. Like, I love it. And I didn't know, I, because I know, you know, when I was doing like a little bit of the central stuff, mm -hmm. I knew how hard it is. You know what I mean? So I was like, I. Were a little apprehensive, maybe? I was. Yeah. And then imagine. Pontes from Polar is like, dude, you got to, he was almost like, uh, send me like uh, DMs uh, on Instagram. I'd be like, dude, you got to do your own thing. You do, you got to do it. It's like, listen to you you got a successful ass company like right running you know running a successful ass company do you i was like I, it's so hard man it's so hard but it's better, coming, felt, it's better coming from somebody like him than somebody that ain't doing shit yeah true, you know what i'm saying true. like yeah. at least he's like got that that fire already but you know he sees I mean? what you're doing though. yeah it's not just a regular board company you're doing something special yeah Straight up. so that's why he probably saw that because yeah a lot of people like i said were sending me boards like hey write this write that write this and i was just like okay all right all right <laughs> You know, and Chico Sticks came organically. Like, when I first, because people were hitting me up, they were like, dude, like, where can I get that shape? Dude, where can I, you know, get that shape? Where can I get that shape? And when I did Chico Sticks, like, I remember it was like, I think during the pandemic, okay. first stages, and you couldn't even get wood. Right. So the first boards, I, I paid so much money. And I didn't have a name Chico Sticks yet. Mm. Whoever has those first two graphics, they just say Chico Brennan's on top of the deck. I didn't have no name yet. But when I put those out, it was 100, and huh. they went like in 10 minutes. And then like a month later, I put another one, and they went that day. Wow. And then I was like, oh, shit, I think we might have something. Mm. It's better than $2 a board. Uh, yeah. Roll to board. yeah. Hey, 100%. <laughs> 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 For real, dude. Um, So... Yeah, and then there were, some guy was like, on on Instagram, they were like, they saw me, uh, damn, they were like, damn, Chico, you can you can skate anything. You can probably skate a two by four. I went to Home Depot with my daughter, oh, with Maya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I swear, I was like, let me see. I cut, the, I had the dude, the dude didn't even recognize, like, yo, aren't you Chico? Yeah. It's like, yeah, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> and then like, he cut it up for me. I went home, drilled some holes, put some grip tape, went to Potrero. And I was like, let's see if it works. Right. And next thing you know, dude, like, it's flipping. But you had to be so light, dude. On the first one, they were just like, <laughs> helicopter. <laughs> it's, oh. not even, it's not even that, dude. That's like a little bit later. This is later, but still. I mean, look at that thing. Fakey That's a big, big ass, flip, big ass block. 
<laughs> that was actually pretty hard. <laughs> I, could, yeah, I could imagine. Dude. And then that, dude, that, that the reaction from everybody doing like the tricks on the two by four was insane. Yeah. And then we'll find it. Yeah, they were like yeah. Chico sticks, and then that's how it really it became. That's how it became, and not so just the audience of, named not, it. not because of the two by four either. It's just because all the different shapes, bro. Right, Chico sticks, and it almost, I almost, it was almost with the. Um, sticks like you know and i was also thomas campbell who was like dude you got to put it with the x, x with this because i already had it which is chico sticks it's right. like no nah, it has to be out. x right, right, right. <laughs> and i was like thanks Con uh, thomas for like and now it's just, just flows. little yeah it's that the little, little things tweak, dude for sure. with the x is definitely much better how yeah. is like looking back though when you left chocolate and all that but how's your relationship with those guys now i mean we're, we're on 30 years of chocolate yeah 30 years i mean when i yeah. left I was like, fuck these dudes. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, shit got a little bit like weird. Like uh, when I, I left and then some boards came out a little bit later. So I was like, what the fuck? Mm. At first I thought my boards been getting bootlegged. Oh. <laughs> I was like, someone's <laughs> bootlegged my boards. Because this is like five months, four months after. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, those already in like the production and yeah. for nobody's like, communication, that, communication, yeah. Yeah, baby. Everything. Communication, it's, it's communication. It's nobody's everything. saying like, hey, we have these yeah. on the ship you know and they're gonna be and there's gonna be cause I didn't it was like these graphics that were fucking horrendous like I would never approve this shit you right. know and that's what I hit them up and I there was a little back and forth okay. going with Mike and but everything's all good man and yeah. I actually the thing that brought us back I feel was like surfing really I swear <laughs> did you the surf most, with Rick yeah you know, that surf with Rick dude I remember um, one of the homies that does this uh, board uh surfboard company called crime he's like dude i seen rick because they were giving me some surfboards I, I seen rick i sent a note for it man you should hit him up and i was going to la you know to like pick up a board from these guys uh -huh. and i was like fuck it i'll hit him up and Shit. i hit him up and he fucking hit me back and we met i sent an offer and we chopped it up and then we just started he came to sf we surfed like pacifica and then it's just like like that bro and he, he goes into uh we go to mexico like yeah so you guys every year now sick. And then surfing brothers, I get, you know, crazy, the way awesome. I look at it, I think it's just like, uh, unless homies, the older we get, the less we're going to skate. But there's like some people where like, I'm, I'm active and I love skateboarding. I'm out there skateboarding or surfing or cycling or whatever I'm mm -hmm. doing, you know, and unless that other person, that's what connected us, I feel like in the beginning, mm -hmm. skateboarding. We were totally. always like, you know, yeah. now we have families and everything like that. And unless you're going to that person's house. You know what I'm saying? You kind of go farther and farther apart. Yeah. yeah, yeah, right. But everything's everything's. I and you know, people. I was like, I can't, I can't hold that shit inside of me, nah, man. Like that, that, that for you sure. know, right? This, these, I grew up with these dudes, and people passing away, and I don't want to, I don't want to hold that yeah, something like that, that, you know, or harbor that for sure. Yeah, so you know, it's it's all good, man. Gotta it's all make good. Amends. I made amends. And, yeah. Did you tell Rick? Were you like, dude, man, you just called me, man. It would have been cool. Uh, I don't think so. Okay. We just, <laughs> <laughs> we just kind of like, it's, it's, you know, I, I felt like uh, this shit is a business at the end of the day. Yeah. And I should have been like more on top of my business type mm. of thing. You but know it just I mean? sucks okay. when you can't have those conversations. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, if business is one thing, but friendship is another. I think that we should be able to put certain things aside and really have these conversations because, yeah, they having that that you know that friendship it means a lot. You know what I mean? But yeah. when you let business and and then avoiding certain things and conversations is like that's what her that's what hinders the friendship. Hindsight's yeah. twenty twenty, dude. That's yeah, what no, I would I say too. It's like, man, when you're in the heat of the moment. You, sometimes you're not even looking at that big picture, for right? Sure. You're not even like thinking about that type of stuff. You're heated. No. You know? Well, you're there for what twenty years? Poo. I think twenty plus. Twenty plus. plus. Yeah. Like so twenty three, twenty four years. So after twenty years, and something like that happens, it must be frustrating, yeah. and you want answers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want answers. Yeah. Yeah. But then you From go. Anybody, then, then you go, like I said, then you go skate a two by four. You know. Uh, Look at that. Dude, that's you, that trucks. <laughs> <laughs> it works. Come I was there in COVID oh, just by myself, it. like nobody around. That's amazing. <laughs> See, and shit like that just brought joy joy oh man my just God. like let me figure it out let me see if it works i'm totally. stoked that you guys made amends i'm stoked that you guys yeah, are, are yeah. friends now and like I, I love that man i love that because shit, yeah, no, shit happens yeah the yeah. 30 30 is coming and yeah, dude, they're working years. on something actually for 30 dope 
and yeah man you just gotta we we you know f- fuck i don't know 20 years of our lives like yeah, together yeah. in the van and mm. hotels and fucking all over the world man you yeah. you know and that's i started thinking about that as like man you can't just let this thing you know yeah. affect you like that yes. to the point where like yeah you really yes I thought it was I, crazy on my end watching this because I mean a lot of us grew up watching you there, so it was crazy. It's like when Guy and Eric, Eric left, left yeah. girl, and like you leave chocolate. Everyone's like, "How is this happening right yeah. now?" Yeah. But like, look yeah. at look at history yeah. though. History like a lot of the like legends in skateboarding like leave their companies yeah. to like start new companies yeah, like course. Rick and Mike yeah. like. There yeah, would have that been was no a girl. big shock, man. huge, yeah. right? And so, I, I was and bummed. Street, I was yeah. bummed when you left. It's a blessing in disguise. It's a blessing was. in disguise, yeah. you know? I can't front. I definitely was a little little bummed when Chico left, no doubt. <laughs> I wanted to give you a call, too, but I knew at the end of the day, bro, you 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 made your mind up, you know what I mean? Not that if I would have called you, it would have made, like, a, a, a difference, you know what I mean? Because, again, like, I, it, it definitely crossed my mind, yeah. but I didn't. And, like, like you are saying, like, fuck, like sometimes yeah. all you have to do is just the, make that call. I remember yeah. I was at the beach uh, in Pacifica, and then I told it was Mike that I <laughs> called up when they were when it was like i gotta do this yeah and then he was like i'll call you next week and then i think Smythe called me and i think megan called me and then i I never heard from rick and i was fucking hurt as fuck yeah i can imagine like for like months i didn't i was like damn i spent fucking 24 years of my life and no fucking thank you i know that people Uh, deal differently with like shit like that and then, like, we, I spoke to him about that. Oh, you did? Okay. He was like, no, man, I wanted to talk to you when I saw you, like, you know, because I was supposed to be coming down to SF, and I wanted to actually, like, talk to you, but I I guess I didn't go to, like, that event or whatever, mm, you know? No. But I was hurt, man. I was yeah. hurt when, like, you don't even get, like, a, a fucking, I put, you know, yeah, yeah. this whole time, and not even a, a fucking yeah, thank you, yeah, yeah. like, at all. No, I hear you. I think sure. that's one of the biggest flaws of skateboarding, to be honest with you, is communication. I feel like that's, I mean, my whole career has been communicationless with like, you know, audio shoes or I'm sure like DV, like communication is, seems like so difficult for some reason between owners of companies or team managers and and the skaters, you know, because like you said, all it is sometimes is just one phone call, one text, you know, sometimes let me, let me know what's going on. I think it's hard to deliver bad news. It's, and, and being a skateboarder is like, first and foremost we're skaters and then we also then we turn into businessmen now we're yeah. responsible for other individuals and yeah. once it gets to that like yeah. real moments it's like bro <laughs> Dude, i don't want to i want to avoid it i don't yeah. want to do it yeah. you know what i mean and i think <sighs> girl and chocolate was good at just sweeping shit under the rug and not really Talk addressing yeah. a lot of things bro mm. yeah. you know instead of like really addressing the shit on head on sure that will just sweep it out of her good, not say anything, or just like, ooh, 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 yep. <laughs> yeah. You know? No. Yo. For, sure, for real. I mean, they got a lot of stuff going on. But, yeah, dude. It's, hey, I'll say this right now. Chico, I love you to death. I know, like, like you turned me pro. And that's one of the happiest moments of my life. I was crying when you gave that to me. Yeah, I remember. And, and like, you know, to hear these things going with Rick and Mike and everything, like, I know I had left to go do um, Central to go Expedition. I know yeah. there was a little bit, like, I, I just want to let you know that I have nothing. I actually wanted to punch you in your face. I, I know you did. I know you did. But I felt like nah. I, no. And it wasn't because you left. It was because you left back to the people who treated you like shit. Mm. If you would have left to somewhere else, I'd be like, dude, hell yeah, do you. But you went back to the people who fucking kicked you to the curb. And for me, that was fucking bullshit. Uh, you well, know? I, so yeah. I I understand your position and like remember initially it was like hey they offered me and I said no yeah. you know and I came to you I was like I'm letting you know this I said it and I said no but then I had like an opportunity of something that I'd never had before and something different that I could help run it yeah. and I was promised these things yeah. and I was like dude I I feel I, I'm I'm super happy of what we've done but I had I, there's this, this this thing in me I can't let this opportunity go to learn something new in a different way yeah. and I was like I don't know how I'm gonna do this and like <laughs> I, I love you so much dude like we went all over the world together we yeah. traveled and you turned me pro I still have all those boards in my house yeah but I was like I hope you understood there was nothing it was nothing. and I understand where you're coming from too like but I had to learn this on my own and try something nah. and, I'm glad you did yeah and I hey, you know it didn't last that long but you know that's something that 
Yeah. I had to figure out, dude. Hmm. But uh, I know those tough times happen, but I don't know. I just want to say thank you, man, because I, no. I appreciate all the stuff. I just felt like I said, like a lot of companies too, when, when people get hurt, they kind of like just fucking push them to the side and yeah. like, you know, forget about them. And I, I felt like you still had some shit to offer. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I was like, nah, man, Kelly, I think you, you know, you still got some shit out there. And, and also let, let, let yourself or me be the person to fucking be like, okay, this, I, this is raps. This is quit. Don't let a fucking company tell you like when it's time to fucking go. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. True. Yeah. True. So yeah. for me, like that's, yeah, man. Oh, because that's what happened initially. Like they, they were like, ah, I think you're. Yeah, yeah. I got let. They, well, the they other... wouldn't. They wouldn't turn you pro. Like well, there was had, a lot. I of mean, things, that was right? was that when you got hurt your foot? Yeah, I, I was there. Like yeah. the hard flip at that fucking. Uh, well, that was way school. long. Ago. That was way, uh, way long. Way long. Ago. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It was just. I think they had no plans for me at that point, and I was like, oh shit, I don't have to do. It was just a very confusing part of my life, and that's what sucks as a skateboarder, is that skateboarders come to that point. Almost everyone comes to that point of like what am I going to do now? Right? Like you said, you're leaving chocolate. Like you just, you have to do it. And, yeah. um, but that's a scary moment. It in is any scary. skateboarder's career, having that unknown and like, you've oh been to there for so long and now you're just, Oh my God, man. Almost yeah. new to the world. <laughs> reborn again. Like, like and, and then trying to figure out what the hell do I do? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I was <laughs> like during COVID, I was w doing a lot of working side job and, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I've been skating and yeah, I thought it was, over man and just started like little slowly with chico sticks and i saw like the demand and right. fucking it's just fun man it's fun when you do it and you're doing a shape and then you see like other people also like damn like you know the feedback and like oh damn chico like that you were right man this thing you know yeah. works great and it's so fun like seeing the feedback well, you're inspiring people you know yeah. you're it's inspiring great, people right? man and i was you know that's one of the reasons why i keep like fucking Dude, you were inspiring yeah, people fun. when you were 15 years old, <laughs> and you're still inspiring people now. Straight up. It's the crazy, same people bro. are watching you yeah. still, bro. dude. It's so cool, man. <laughs> That's what's kind of cool, because like a lot of those skaters kind of grew with you. So now they see you, and like whether or not they stop for a little bit, you know what I mean? And now they're like, damn, Chico, what is Chico doing? Bro. bro. <laughs> and now you like re, you know, got them all psyched. So I mean, now I, like, fuck, I, I still love, cool, I bro. love skateboarding, man. I love it like so, you know, like if when I... Like when I was a little kid, man, it's just, and I think also we, we, we took this shit for granted, All man. All day. We thought we, this All shit day. was never going to end, just especially up. being with chocolate. We're like, we're fucking cold. <laughs> <laughs> Even if I have to work in the backpack and boxes, I'm good. We're good. Yeah. You know, yeah. We thought, yeah. Yeah. We're Straight on top up. of the world, bro. We 100%. were the fucking hottest company ever. You know, you thought you were never going to end, man. You know, and yeah it's the crazy shit is like when people will come up to me and be like so how does it feel to own like to own chocolate oh wow <laughs> you didn't thought you were the owner yeah i'll be like well, actually i was you know like, it feels so, good that's, i mean <laughs> yeah i mean dude you were heavily branded oh uh, bro you it were was chocolate like, yeah man, you were you, when i think of chocolate i think you yeah oh, like right away for sure so i hope you do some cool stuff for the 30 year though yeah, no nah, yeah we're definitely working on some that's tight that's better good be a here. chico stick Chocolate collab. Yeah. Oh, you, you know my logo's yeah, gotta yeah. be there, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't doing yeah, nothing yeah, with my know. logo being there. <laughs> <laughs> Is you crazy? <laughs> nah. No, I also I like how logo. social media was a big thing for you. Like like you're like a older pro that kind of used social media to your advantage. And I and I think a lot of pros back then, I think me and you kind of bonded on this of like we're out there going post social media stuff where yeah. a lot of the guys our age were not into I it i just i feel like social media should be you know the thing that you do if it's skateboarding then it should be about skateboarding when people start putting like all the other shit like mm. extra shit you know it's when it gets a little bit like you know like politics like, and all that stuff your, or your, just other your stuff? favorite pro is one of the your biggest kooks man <laughs> i swear <laughs> You know, like, <laughs> just focus like on skating. shit that you yeah. people that you followed and you always looked up to, and then you follow them on like the instas and shit like that. Yo, you're a fucking kook, man. <laughs> <laughs> now it's on the real, man. You're one of like, some of your favorite pros could be the big. So I just try to keep it skateboarding. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. on whatever. I, I, I'll show a little bit of like my life a little bit here and right. then, like you know shit that I do, but like. I just understand. skateboarding man Bro, you know I, because that's how people just knew you back in the days it's just from the vhs tapes and that's all they yeah. knew about you true yeah you know true 
No, but people like to see everything these days, you know what I mean? As far as like seeing who you are as an individual, yeah. you know what I mean? But I'm putting like, like that little extra, but when yeah. you're just putting a little bit too much sure. and like... Right. I hear you on that. That's why you stopped know. following me? <laughs> I don't think I ever followed you, Chris. Oh, oh my God. He unfollowed me, actually. Wow. <laughs> I did unfollow Chris. <laughs> I mean, Kelly. <laughs> I'll follow you again. We're good. Don't okay. worry, man. Yeah. We'll get the official follow after this. <laughs> it's because it's weird when you're like, I'll follow somebody, and then you follow him again. You, you popped write, up. Yeah, yeah, I don't like, see oh, you. She gonna follow me. So oh, just, nah, I'd rather just fuck it, man. <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes you can unfollow somebody by accident. <laughs> yeah, that is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, damn true. It's a damn, that dude hey, was following him. It's a damn lie, though. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, my bad. <laughs> okay, so uh, we got to talk about Central Skate Shop though, because we we, just, we brought it up and everything. But I thought that was dope. But you were trying to create a, a skate shop in Nicaragua um, and bring in products from the U.S. Right? Yeah, I mean uh, that. I think that was in. 2005 when i started doing the shop in nicaragua it was okay. really it was really the like only 100 percent like legit skate skate shop in okay. the country where kids can come and chill and watch skate videos get like legit product you know before people try to do like the surf and skate type of thing and they will mm. get like whatever kind of boards but like okay. my, my thing was like the 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 100 percent just legit skate shop and at the time i was bringing like all kinds of pros to the country just so they can see where i came from a little bit and to um you know to to see the where i come from man and yeah. you know, skate and have fun and and i was doing these tours every every year and every year like you know there was like the steve nesters the montoyas that i was like even before like i would set up the tour they would hit me up hey is this happening like are we going like you know and <clears throat> it was every year that this, this was happening right mm. stay at the family's house in the neighborhood, keep it like a hundred percent like real where I you know, where I where my family grew up in Managua. Mm. Skate all over the the capital and mm. then like the last three days we just go to the beach and and chill, chill? and just kick it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it was amazing, man. And I brought like over third like 30 pros out there damn so, yeah. I never went over 30 pros I never, man yeah, yeah I never went you were dude. never invited you were never invited by- <laughs> I went dude that was one of the funnest trips I've hey, ever you been you went on. huh yeah we oh. went to that surf ranch yeah that was one of the funnest trips I've ever been on man dude like, and you stayed at the family's house I stayed at your family's house yeah amazing the first and the then first we did that LRG trip and we did the demo like in the middle of that little uh, it was like a like a ranch town um in Chontales is the town that it's called. But dude, that's like two hours away. And I remember we were in the van with Tyrone and everybody. And I remember like Billy Marge was like, where the fuck are we going? Because it was just forest like going through. <laughs> and I was like, it's here somewhere, I promise. <laughs> we get to the town and it's just like full on blown demo. Like, you know, the mayor's there like waiting for wow, us. Dude. really? It was huge. You can find it online, dude. Like it's uh, uh, wow. the LRG uh <laughs> Gallo Pinto oh, tour, no Nicaragua. Right, you can definitely find it. But man, like, That's funny, just bringing bro. bringing people back to um uh, to where I'm from, man, was very special. And just seeing like, were you building a skate scene there, or like, how, was there already a skate scene, or were you to like, be honest, um, so I came to America in '85, started skateboarding. I didn't go back to Nicaragua until '91, '92. 91 92 or 91 oh wow to get my my finalized some like paperwork that my mom needed to do like at the time when my mom became a u.s citizen i was already i think um over age so all i got was a green card like my sister was able to get like her 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 uh her u.s passport at the time because she was underage oh. but me and my brother were already considered like adults so all we got was a freaking green card bro so you had to go through the whole a- process a resident alien has said that's i it- always tripped on that bro <laughs> right resident alien like we're from another fucking planet <laughs> <laughs> i always tripped on that they changed it now okay but back then it said resident, resident alien when i had i wish alien. i still had that card like i had that thing yeah. that little <laughs> note right there <laughs> yes I swear, man. Resident alien, yeah, bro. The, the so I would up. travel with my Nicaraguan passport and okay. the resident alien card to get back to into get the back. U.S. Right. That was and my, that worked every time? That was my green card, yeah. yeah. Mm. And if I lose that, I'll be very far. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you think yeah. about that. If your wallet gets stolen, it's yeah. like, ugh. Wait, yeah. So, so you hadn't been back for that amount of time, but then what made you want to start the... 
the shop yeah like was there was there a blossom you know it's just like there? us skateboarders like trying to like yeah. you know do some uh, yeah. Venice, you know, figure something out yeah. in, in, within something that we know, something yeah. that we know, and that we know. So, and then also to create kind of like a like a scene in yeah. the country, you know what yeah. I mean? And was there already? Saying, there was already like a, like a scene, um, but we like blew it up like way more after we yeah. started bringing like all the pros and everything like that. But uh, um, the first time I went back, you know, already writing for World, I might have had a board out and everything, and um. And I was telling my uncle, like, what is, did anybody skate? Like, and there was not one skateboarder that I met, dude, none. I went to the uh, school where my aunt worked and I did like a little demo for the kids. <laughs> this is like early 90s, dude. Throughout some Nolly Hills? Yeah, throughout <laughs> some Nolly Hills, very old hill, butters. <laughs> 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 Popped out of a ledge. Mm. Pop out. And, uh, and then I came back the next year, mm -hmm. met one person that skated. After that, I came back and I just, I seen that shit grow, bro. It's the most beautiful thing I love it. ever. I seen like this to like, now like there's like full skate parks in the, in the capital, mm -hmm. you know, in like towns, like small little towns like Chontales, like have, you know, and, and a lot of even foreigners that live there, like built like their own little like right. ramps on the beach or like yeah, little skate parks. So it's fucking incredible, man. It's that's fucking incredible. Sick. Like I would have never imagined in a million years that, you know, that skateboarding would be like, you know, a thing in Nicaragua, man. You helped so, push that, bro. Yeah. You're a big part of that. Dude, very proud of that. And you yeah, were not only be. trying to build Shade the does. skate shop, but the, also a team along with it. Like you had Kelly, there was a bunch of, uh, you had a couple other other people. Yeah. Uh, Danny Hamaguchi. Hamaguchi, right? you know. JP. Uh, JP. JP. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I was definitely, like I said, like uh, early in the interview, I was definitely trying to make like central, like something, you know. I mean? Sure. And, Gnarly has twos. Straight up. Hell yeah. I'm thankful yeah. for it, man. That was but a fun that, time. That's when that the whole time it was like and I think one of the things like that I, it could have worked, but I had my leg, you know, one leg on chocolate and one leg doing this thing. I think if I would have moved fully to central, it could have uh, like maybe worked, okay. you know. But like that scared of like just leaving chocolate, man. And mm -hmm. you know, that's what I was telling you earlier. Like I wanted to bring central over to chocolate and make it into a thing right his own thing you know what i mean like but did you have somebody in nicaragua that was like running it over yeah, there yeah oh, you yeah. did okay, i had okay. somebody running okay. it. okay and okay. you had jay help uh working with jay on jay, it too, right? yeah jay is jay amazing who? amazing jay dude. garcia okay the homie from puerto rico long time homie like a brother man he's just oh yeah i know jay yeah yeah, 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 he's, yeah he's hilarious yeah. he was running it oh yeah. sick okay where's jay at now he works for hulu Oh, man. Hulu. Yeah, oh, he's up can he get a went, free subscription? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Just pay me. And, oh, oh, I'll pay you. And then you okay. <laughs> For some reason, I feel like, like my, I feel like my subscription will never get turned on. <laughs> He's at Hulu. He's been over there for six years, and he's oh. just killing it, man. Okay. Yes. What all, what ultimately uh, happened to the shop? Um, it was just like a like a up up uprising started over there. Like uh, there was like a. With the government and everything, there was a protest and everything like that, and you know, eventually, like, Could I couldn't, it, I couldn't keep it going. Got you. You know, but and, the skate uh, scene is still. Popping. But I was always having trouble, dude, getting just goods into the country. Just like, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I would get stuff for like, like Jim at Rio would hook me up. Obviously, Girl and Chocolate would hook me up, like really good prices. Mm -hmm. And the fuckers never believed me. Like, you know, this is what you paid. Like, you know what I mean? They would go online to see how much the boards were online and they would fucking charge me like that on the invoice, man. It was always like tricky trying to like mm. get really? goods into the country. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Through you know, the government. Through the government. Oh, yeah. they would they go always, online. They always wanted they like the cut in, even yeah. bigger mm -hmm. though. You know what I mean? Like, no, this is, I'm, this is, I'm Chico Brenes, you know, like, right, okay. I'm just bringing, you know, and yeah. they just be like, nah, we just want to give us our money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or else you ain't getting your goods out. Dude, I, dude, like, sometimes my goods will be stuck for like, you know, weeks and months because, Damn. you know, like, uh, my cousin will be like, nah, we can't let them like win. We got to fight, man. You know, we, and we try to fight, and at the end of the day, we just end up paying. <laughs> would you ever like? Would you ever just bring product over yourself? Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> no, that's sorry, I, I should I should have known. I should have known. Yeah, okay. I remember. I these, mean, I remember getting these. it under, not paying the duties, and sure. then you know what I'm saying. Just, sure, of course, man. That was a normal thing. I remember going to Valsurf and just seeing like this 
Asian dude come in and he he buy the whole shit like buy mm. so much stuff Rip and, City Rip and City bring it thing. and bring it back home. Yeah. I'm like because Damn. they all charge you an arm and a leg, man. Of course, like, custom duties, you know, and all that and crazy. Like for me, they weren't believing in my invoices, man. Yeah. <laughs> that is legit, crazy, yeah. bro. One thing we got to talk about if we don't talk about it, you know, because I skated in your shoe. I was I was a big fan of the DVS Chico Brennan shoe, bro. The, I was skating the that Mayan, thing like the yeah. Mayan. Yeah. Mayan changed the game, the, man. <laughs> changed the game. <laughs> <laughs> it really did. That I, was bro. It was that a good shoe, shoe actually. I think Lakai got started because of that shoe. I think when yeah. my shoe came out, they. Tim was like went and showed the, you know this is what we, the potential of oh, like what we can, can do, do. Okay. Yeah. yeah yeah and I think that's how fucking you know they got the they ball rolling they entertained yeah because like, okay, before it was just like kind of like you know in the beginning it was Slims just, and fucking yeah and, no those yeah, day pretty, one pretty and budget. Sheffy yeah. shoes were pretty big dogs, and then Gavin's yeah. like yeah. Uh, Stan Smith looking shoe was that was classic that was though. dope look yeah, at that, that. Dope, it was a good but shoe but this is everybody rode that shoe dude I had I had I know I had Multiple, man. multiple pairs of the did, gray and orange ones. Well. Thank you, man, because the royalties changed. Well, I got them for good. <laughs> I got, them, I got, I got those for free, so you probably didn't get any royalties. <laughs> no. Probably not, but you got them at $2? <laughs> <laughs> now he wants my money. <laughs> those are, look how good that shoe man. looks, though. To this day, that thing is a good-looking shoe, man. I like that thing. I, would no, that that, thing I saw everybody, I Brian that. Anderson, mm. everybody, like dudes like, damn, they're skating my fucking shoe. You Keenan, know? I think Keenan was skating them too, right? No, it was a good shoe. That yeah. that shoe did very, very, yeah. very well, man. And Did you have one you shoe, know? multiple colorways or multiple shoes? This one I had multiple colorways. Well, yeah, I know that. But but I had, I had another, uh, my, the first Chico Brenner shoe was a, like a different style of shoe that they made. Which, what was that called? I don't remember that the one. Chico Brenner shoe? Oh, shit. That's <laughs> what it was called. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember this one. This one was the, the shit. My? Yeah, no, that had, there's one before that. Is there? There's one, but yeah, you know, this could be like my first, like world graphic. You know, <laughs> or just consider that, that your that first shoe. So good. That 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 right right it looks so good. <laughs> that was a good shoe, man. The DVS had such a good run. I was there from the, the beginning. Team. A lot of the companies that I was that I mess with, I was there to the you know Same. from the beginning, man. Yeah. You know, DVS, LRG, right? Loyal ass dude, man. Mm -hmm. You know for sure. You're still at LRG. Yeah. Still at LRG, yeah. yeah that's tight. Yeah, LRG. They brought it back, stoked. Yeah. You what, is it 25 it? years coming up? Damn. It's that's crazy, right? Yeah, dude. That's that, so crazy. Jonas was the one, pretty much, who put me on that, man. Mm -hmm. he changed. You're special, change. bro. That dude was yeah. definitely a special individual, man. How He's was it, one. though? Because you were, like, uh, one of the first ones on the LRG squad. Like Carl. How? Carl, I think, was the first one. He and, was the first one. Did, yeah. did Carl try to put together a team and include you? Or how did that work? I mean... I don't know. I remember wanting, like, this denim kit that they had. Okay. And I hit somebody up and, I don't know, ended up getting the denim kit. And then, they, I don't know, from there, they got the ball rolling. And then, mm. you know, they started payment and got on the team. And, yeah. They were yeah. killing Amazing, it man. for a while. I'm though this LRG, you know, 1947, give me my money, Chico. Man. Give me my money, Chico. Man, it was crazy whole... to watch that brand grow. We saw it. Yeah. We saw it grow from <laughs> everything, man. Yeah. Zero to 100. Damn. And you guys, yeah, you guys did some good tours. Like, it was a good, yeah. It was a good, yeah. uh, was good little squad, bro. Mm -hmm. Give me my money, Chico, yeah. dude. That was one of the funnest dude, videos. I didn't, I, <laughs> to be honest, I didn't even want that the name really? to be. Yeah, I was pushing back so bad. Why? <laughs> Just because I thought, well, like, what is the team gonna think? Like, I don't want. No, oh, man, I don't want this. You know, but I'm that's, always. But that's that's what, what we did. We <laughs> bet on you. I, that's everyone the, it's bet based on you. a true story. Like, like <laughs> it's definitely based on. It's the real deal. Like, we weren't faking the funk or nothing. It was so fun. Like. So you, know, you didn't want going, people to be reminded that that you owe them. Money. I just didn't want the video to be named after my name, but I'm happy that it was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, exactly. I, you get that until this day, like give him money, she goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch but that's that. that's yeah. the beauty of it, though, right? Yeah. Man? There's this um, clip. There's this clip of me skating this gap and I 360 flip it. And I didn't know this was happening. I really didn't know that I was trying this trick and Carl and Chico were betting on the side. Oh, and, you were side betting. Yeah, we were side betting. Okay. And I land it. Hold and on. I, First of all, yeah. wait. Did you do you know what you bet uh, him ag against or for? Um, always, against. Against. Okay, always against. He's always never bet. <laughs> <laughs> and so he bet against okay, me, okay. and I land it, and I like, and Carl so high. He's like, "Yeah, Gilly," and I'm like, "Hell yeah, thanks, Carl." And he's all, "Get my money, Chico." And that's when I realized, like, "Oh, you guys were betting on the side," and that's where the name stuck right there. Was that's yeah. where the name for the and video there was stuck. another one the. The, what was it? 
Nolly back notion 360 shove. Oh, that's a big spin out. Big yeah. spin out. We we're at the we're all getting been a hundred on that. <laughs> hundred. How, how's that? He ain't got that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I just had he it. He didn't my, have that either. I, I came up. Yeah. Oh. Hey, I landed on it. Though. Did you? I landed. Yeah, on he it. landed on it. <laughs> but to be honest, I did that. It's kind of like how Rocco was doing it back in the days, man. Yeah. You know, I, I just to give you a little incentive because it's right there. You can do it, but something in your head is telling you like something else for sure. You know, so sometimes you need that little extra incentive. Or another time, it's like. Let's just get out of here, man. I want to go to another spot. <laughs> you know, someone called the cops and like, you know, please. Yeah. Like, I want to leave. I don't want to skate this. You know, this is not my, I don't want to skate this gap or these stairs or something. Like, call the cops, man. It's going to work for me. Yeah. You've been, you've been, you've been here too long. Going. So I, it's a little extra incentive just to like, dude, land this. Sometimes yeah. you, you know? do Sometimes you do need that little oh, I need doubt. it all the time. You need yes. that little doubt. Like, of it's course. not doubt of, of no, like, no, no. no, I don't want you to land that. It's just like, like you, you're like, yeah, you ain't got that. You're like, oh yes, I, I got yeah, this. Yeah. Trust yeah. me. A little, yeah. a little reverse psyche. So fun. Yeah, yeah. That's so fun sure. when they don't have it. <laughs> and then I get when they have it. Hey, I gave you the money, dude. I gave you a hundred bucks. Yeah, I was. Dude, do you know how much money for me that was back then? That was like, you know what's weird? I never And I took it too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm like, yo, Kelly, you got it next time. I was like, nah, give me that <laughs> shit. <laughs> Here's a weird thing. Per diem back then, you the pros got five hundred bucks and the AMs got four hundred bucks. Really? And I was like, I don't know why that makes any sense. I didn't even know on that. On that trip. So I, I LRG? gave you. LRG yeah, did that? I don't know if they meant to do that or Tyrone, not. man. That's, <laughs> nah, we all human. We got to eat. <laughs> yeah. I need the same money that he got. <laughs> I didn't know that. I think it I was I never like checked that. your Maybe envelope. <laughs> or you know what? I took that 100. <laughs> that that was a. Uh, I took that. I took that. <laughs> yeah. I feel like this part for you, though, like was a big part because you have like two songs in this. This was, I was having a good time skating during this period, man. I was having like, you know, traveling to China, skating all these different spots. I felt good on my board, man. This is 2010. I felt really, really comfortable, man. I don't know, you know? Oh, you were killing it, man. Everywhere yeah, we man. went, you were getting footage. And this is like the mm. beginning of China becoming the spot. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah that was Claire Wall, you know, take, yeah, dude. Like, yeah. normally I wouldn't do this shit, you know? <laughs> I felt really good on my board, man. Just skating all this shit, like you know. And yeah, you, the yeah. song. I, you just skated to one song in this, right? Am I tripping, or do you have two? Uh, I think just one. Just one. The yeah. the uh, what was the 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 name? It was like um, it makes so much sense for for your, money, money, money. Yeah, yeah, money. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah that's uh, what, Jack yeah. had two songs. That's what I was tripping on. But yeah, you uh, had like the perfect song for it. Yeah, we were traveling a lot, you know, skating different things, and yeah. I just felt good on my board, man. I think that's one of the one things I was that still I, skating the popsicles. The popsicle. Well, this was 2009, 2010, yeah. right? So, Eight, nine, 10. But I that's think in that's, the Philippines. That's one of the most valuable. Nica. Oh, there you go. Nicaragua. That's one of the a most. A lot of people thought that was me. And then I popped up. <laughs> 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 yeah, a lot of people thought that was me. <laughs> you know? That's I, cool. You know, as a writing for the team i felt like you are team captain at lrg you know what i mean and i thought it was really special because you would always look out for us you were always talking shit but you looked out for all of us but and that's what it always was chris like you know on tour you have to like even the new ams you have mm -hmm. to break their balls man because i mean it was like that at embark at Arrow. we always fucking made fun of each other for sure the best thing to do is not break down because otherwise it's just like it's gonna keep coming right 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 it's just right. like laugh it off and talk shit right back you I, know I, and I, then for me it's like when dudes got on you have to fucking you know yeah it's a little hazing period yeah you know, i mean and if you broke down you just get it even more <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't think i broke down man there's one time writing for world fucking uh going on tour chris brandon like mm. Oh, Chris Branagh? Yeah, Chris yeah. Branagh. Mm -hmm. We were all young amateurs, whatever. And fucking someone like duct taped his ass and threw him on the elevator and pressed all the buttons, bro. A little kid. <laughs> no. No Fucked up. I don't know who it was. That's gnarly. <laughs> yeah, they duct taped him, threw him in the elevator and just pressed all the buttons, dude. Wow. So messed up. Who did this? I don't know who You're did right. it. <laughs> I don't know who did that. Because like it, it couldn't have been day one. Maybe Shiloh? Like who oh, okay. else? But I we also that. like teamed up you know, with other teams. So For sure. I don't know. I forget who it was. <laughs> Might have been me. I don't know. I don't think so. I, can, I would remember. But yeah. That's so you know, weird. you just got to do that kind of stuff to like, 
you know, break in the it's amateurs. Harmless. Yeah. It's harmless fun, you know? Yeah. yeah. I always loved it. It sucks, though, when, you know, they, they take it serious. It's, well. Oh, if you make I somebody mean, cry and shit, that's yeah. kind of lame, for sure. I, was, I, I enjoyed part. going on tours. That, that I was going to say before, like, that was the... That's a, the, one of the best perks about skateboarding is the tours and the camaraderie. Sometimes yeah. I wish I look back. I wish I was Bro. more in the moment. I wish sometimes I, was, I took it for granted. There was, there was times like people wouldn't even want to go. Like Gavin didn't like to travel. Guy didn't like to even. I was like, dude, they're paying you. Yeah, they have. They're giving you money. Like I would be the first one with my bags packed, ready to go on this right. trip, man. Because at the same time, I'm thinking like, I, I, when am I going to get this opportunity again yeah, in my life? Up. Right. And I'm so thankful that I was able to travel, bro, and meet all these different cultures and, you know, people, man. And it just, you know, it helps you like in life, Hell man. Yeah. You know? It really does. So well, every trip, simple. every tour, I was I was ready to go. Yeah. I never, and, and I you never missed a flight also because it was me like being late. It was... I, I don't know why Adelmo was always like <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean he was always I don't know man he was always like lagging like he was the last one in the van sometimes <laughs> like even going skating bro like what, what are you doing fixing your dreads like you know but like, like you, you wouldn't come out rushed or anything he's all calm yeah, and relaxed just, you know I was like bro <laughs> we got we're a gonna, flight to catch let's yeah, go, go. <laughs> oh hey were you guys waiting for me like, <laughs> oh did that the, that the time that they they he we were had a layover I think in Canada and they fucking Oh, he yeah, got pulled to the side. <laughs> he got big dreads, and they're like checking in his dreads and shit, pulling out all his like walnuts and shit that he carries. <laughs> <laughs> walnuts. Yeah, I felt so bad, bro. The most, you know, I mean, sweetest no, dude. Yeah, but then yeah. they let him through. Right? They let him through. Right, right, right. Yeah. That that crew was such a diverse group of P the LRG squad back then. Going up those trips like Rob G, you know, Jack, <clears throat> Carl, Carl, and Adelmo. Did those. Those van rides were hilarious. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Tours, yeah. man. Yeah, Tours, yeah. you can't. I was looking through a hard drive of mine the other night, and I'm looking through all. I'm, I'm finding audio photos from audio tours and choc hot chocolate tours, yeah. and man, it's so rad, bro. Yeah. Hell I mean, yeah. we went. Did we? We went to. Uh, or was it? Uh, not Greece, but uh, Rome. Did you go on that trip with growing chocolate? Like. I mean, I went there a couple of times. Rome. I'm trying to think what. I was uh well, for pretty McKinley. sweet. McKinley was on. Yeah, I was there. Yeah, we were all there. Yeah, I remember. I was like, then we hurt. did the, Col the Coliseum. We went to the Coliseum. Yeah, we came to the Coliseum. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that sure. was the only time I got to go to Rome, bro. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I still haven't been to Rome. Yeah, man. yeah damn. We got the win. Yeah. You, you were remember? Hurt? Yeah, you were hurt on that. I was show. hurt. Yeah, and I, and I had to pay my own way out there. You did? <laughs> yeah, because I wanted to go. I yeah, wanted like, to I'm go going, and I'm yeah, going. I was like, sure. I don't know when I'm going to get the next opportunity to go on this. Damn, so I, I like pay my own. The moment. I see, you know, I was like, dude, they're paying for the hotels and everything. You know, fucking win. And I was a cheerleader talking shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that was a fun trip, bro. Real talk. That was a f fun trip. Like, we went to yeah. a few different distributors. Yeah, I mm -hmm. believe. Yeah, that was that was good. I think Ty yeah, was man. bugging out on us a little bit because we weren't like skating yeah. as much as we I should did. yeah that's when he was like damn he's like this is how you guys get down never, oh, okay was, was never get the, nothing done was this one of the first trips he went on yeah oh so was he was like time. he was like modus operandi oh he was going, like he going ready. trans world style then coming to you yeah. guys we're going sightseeing look at that we're going to coliseum today yeah, Ty's like, what? what are you talking yeah. about bro like now nah, we're going to coliseum yeah. bro it's right down the street <laughs> Okay. She goes, she goes, got his chillers on. You're like, you know, damn, gladiator, go. dudes were killed right here. What? <laughs> got pictures and all that We got the tours and everything. Dude. We went to the 16th chap, all that. Yeah. Ty's like, man, we're supposed to be meeting at the spot right now. We're skating this. <laughs> Ty's like, what did I get myself <laughs> into? <That's amazing. laughs> Not as much stuff got produced on that trip. That's for damn sure. Stevie, what? was I, that when Stevie Ste first Stevie got, got some stuff. I got no, some stuff. No, but that was also when he first came on too, no? Was he on that trip? He was on like. No, I, I don't know if he was on that trip. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. We could get a couple of these trips, like yeah, put together. But yeah, yeah. that was a good time, man. Dude, traveling's the best. You you had mentioned getting hurt when you said you got got hurt your knee, right? And uh, riding the bike was a big, yeah, the, big uh, um, rehab for I you. I was in Taiwan actually filming for LRG in 1947. Yeah, and the the signs were already there for me, you know. What was it? What do you mean? Um, it was raining in Taipei, so we took the bullet train like three hours away to go skate this bank spot. It okay. was me, TX, Tyrone. Um, I forget who else was there. Uh, get to the spot that we were going to skate, but we ended up 
before we went to the bank spot that I wanted to skate, we ended up going somewhere else. It was like this barrier to drop that Rodrigo wanted to skate. I set up a board and I tried to not lay heel, it didn't work. Okay. <laughs> I tried okay. to backside flip, it didn't work. You didn't set up, you didn't take that board Bro, apart? I, 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 would, I should have read the signs. I should have read, the signs were there. <laughs> they were already there. I should have just, you know, I should have just been like, I was should've, just sat down. sat down. I just <laughs> sat down, but Rodrigo was trying to do a trick and I was like, dude, let me try to backside flip it. And I was trying to backside flip it. It had a drop over this barrier. And then like, and I'm the type of skater, bro, especially even back then, that I was like, I'm gonna, if for something like that, like gnarly, like I felt that it was gnarly, I was like, I'm gonna give it 10 tries. If I don't make it in 10 tries, I'd rather fucking skate to see another day. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's the way right. I just looked at everything, bro. And I went injury free for like 15 years, dude. Yeah. Just looking at it like, from I was a little bit scared or felt like this was kind of like gnarly for me. 10 tries and that's, that's it. it because you know we're not fucking spray chicken we're not gonna be trying this for three hours this is mm -hmm. it's gonna be for vegas man your time's gonna come up and you're gonna lose big you, know what I mean? <laughs> you gotta know when Bro, to fold I them i swear yeah, yeah. i swear that's for 15 years i was like injury yeah. free man like just thinking like that so know? what happened that day though and well the boar got yeah. you know and six try i remember fucking going catching it. i was about to put it down and threw it out i was like hey kyle next try okay the next try i went fucking kicked it out again fucking landed and my shit just like oh. but gave out i thought i broke my leg wow. that was my first and then i'm like on the floor fucking tossing and turning and i felt my shit go back into place mm. they, they we're in like fucking you know taipei nobody knows english or anything sure. i mean nobody knows what they're saying or yeah. to try to call an ambulance or something they came and picked me up and took me and got x-rays on my shit they're like oh it's not it's not broken or anything and i was like oh shit maybe i i got away from this one clean wow you know but i was on the wheelchair back on the train that and back to the hotel and that i went home that night oh you did yeah tyrone got me a fucking flight that same night dude i got home my shit swabbed up crazy on the plane sure. when i got home and when i got home i was like dude you know i'm just thinking like get me the best best doctor like get me a fucking 49er doctor to fucking help me get back right mm -hmm. right you know, to and um, yeah, I went and see the orthopedic doctor, and luckily I found uh, Dr. Philly at UCSF. <clears throat> and um, yeah, he's like, he did the uh, MRI, and that was MCL, ACL, MCL, mm -hmm. meniscus, just all. Oh, and that's geez. when you got the surgery, you got, got all the done surgery. at the same time. Yeah. But then wasn't riding the bike a big catalyst yeah. for your recovery? So, so yeah, I mean, did the uh, PT and everything. Mm -hmm. Did I remember going to PT the first day and getting on the uh, stationary bike, and I, I couldn't even get my leg to do that, dude. My, mm, you know, my really? leg, yeah, I couldn't even go over. It was just like back and forth at first, oh, just wow. back and forth. And you're thinking like, I'm, that's when I was thinking. I was like, I'm never gonna be able yeah. to skate. This your, is like your 2015 ish. This is yeah. like okay. 16, 16? 20, yeah. Okay. And, you're, and you're you lose all your muscle, your leg muscles. Sure. It looks like your fucking arm. It's amazing how your body just puts itself back together. If you treat it right, dude, and you, and that's why now I kind of take care of myself and do you know everything else. Yeah, because like, dude, if you, your body, you know, you can go on for ever, man. And if you so, take care of your shit, yeah. if you take care of your shit. Mm -hmm. So did the physical therapy, and then you know, said that's how I found the big boy and everything like that. But mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. thing that got me back was like getting yeah cycling, mm -hmm. like bike. I got a bicycle. Started riding. And was then, this like a doctor say, "Hey, no, get a bike," or no, you just no, I talking remember, to people, asking people what? I what remember. To I do? think I had already a bike. Reda was riding here in LA. Oh yeah. So when yeah, I moved okay. to SF, I already had the bike. So I just started using the bike. I remember just riding from you know Delhi City to like the Golden Gate Bridge, which was like twenty miles at the time, and okay. I was doing that a lot. And then I, you know, wearing like the spandex and everything, mm -hmm. and so I started riding all over the city. And I remember like going by Potrero, and I'll fucking see Jake Phelps. And, but I'm in my kit, like spandex and everything. And, you know, hell, I was like, I can't let this motherfucker see me like this, bro. <laughs> so I'll just be hiding. Like, no, <laughs> it's like, yeah. if he sees me, it's game it's over, over for me. Yeah. So I'll just be hiding, like, just watching people skate for a little bit. And I just keep riding back to my house. You know what I mean? funny, but yeah, that definitely got me back. Just the low, imp low, low mm -hmm. impact and then strengthening, dude. It just, and I kind of like felt, 
I f- you know, like writing. I wanted to see how long I can go, and I just started love going. But also, you're out doing. You're out doing stuff. Yeah. Right? you're out in yeah. the sun. You're and then you know, yeah. And then at the time, you can't skate, so you're just right. like fucking. It felt so good, right? And and, and then yeah, I started also surfing mm-hmm. a lot. You know, and that kind of put the cycling away. And then, you know, this company factor reached out to me. That's that what I was wanted, saying. We have this big, uh, big bike that here. That they wanted yeah. to do, like this bike. So you know, sick. So they did this collaboration with Chico Sticks. You know, it's the first of its kind. What's right? the bike company called? Uh, factor. 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 Okay. Yeah, pretty legit. legit That's a legit, nice ass legit. bike, dude. Bro, mm-hmm. I picked it up and it, it, I could pick it up with my finger. It is so light. <laughs> like what, five pounds, it's six pounds? It's crazy. <laughs> So wait, no, what happened? So they hit you up? They, they said, hey, we up. like your like story. I, What's I, going on? Like this what? agency from the UK hit me up. Somebody hit me up. Uh, and I guess an agency, they hit up this agency to see, like they wanted to work something with the skateboarder. And okay. A list of 10 people. My name was on that list. You know, and they, they reached out to me. I told them a little bit about that story, about mm-hmm. how, you know, I used cycling to get back. And they were like, you know what? This is our guy. You know, so they sent me like this crazy bike, this not that one, but one, like a demo for okay. me to ride around the city. And I mean, I can never afford a bike like that, man. In my wildest dream ever. These you bikes know? are like ten thousand dollars. Yeah, it's no joke. They're expensive, man. They're legit, legit. Yeah. Like I said, Tour de France. You know, yeah. this company's it's crazy. Been, it must be an riders. honor, bro. Right? It's, you know, it, it's like when I saw that bike with my name on it, it was like seeing like my my board with my name on it. Like I seen my shoe with my name. It was fucking unbelievable, man. Totally. I was I like, imagine. I couldn't believe it. You know, it was like it brought me like back to like that time, kid <laughs> stuff, you know. Right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. so this, by the time this episode comes out, this, this bike got, will already be out. They've this, only made what three hundred. Only made they only made three hundred of that. So if they are design. if they are still available by this time, hopefully they're sold out. Cheeks, come on, like let's, oh they're gonna know. be sold out. Okay, is it just online? Yeah. Is it, or no, they're shipping them out to uh, retailers. Retailers, like because uh, I. We, there was no like leakage of the photos and everything and then I, I get hit up by like a, a factor Brazil like a photo with my bike to like repost or something I was like what the fuck how they got my bike or factor France like really photo wow. yeah, like they weren't uh-huh. supposed to leak out the photos you know because it was supposed to be until like you have everything but that's okay. good that's a good thing though. you know, you know what I mean it's like creating sometimes those leaks yeah and then you know it, it, we're doing the bike we're all doing like a full capsule they're doing like a kit you know a bib mm. shorts we're doing a, a board bib. A bib is, you know, like the just the kid, the spandex, yeah. oh, okay. fucking thing. Okay, I thought like it was one sticks. When, you, when you're eating lobster or something. <laughs> <like> that. <laughs> um, I'm doing boards that's coming from my end, and uh, so you're doing a whole, a whole thing, a whole, right. just wow. kind of mixing, you know, the both of the cultures, and yeah. you know, a lot of skaters, you know, Skate cycle, and cycle. And mm-hmm. vice and versa. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like, and I think like the sports are very similar. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Now that's a bike. How many gears is this? This looks like a bigger gear thing than normal. I don't know anything about bikes, to be honest. So uh, I think it's super legit. <laughs> but you have to get like clipped in and everything, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Wait, that's it's that... just like for climbing and for you know, it's just better to be for sure more clipped in. Wait, that's sell through with three hundred bikes times ten thousand. What are what are we working with here, bro? That's that's heavy money right there, man. That's I mean that's a whole different. I mean it's ten thousand if you buy it on the thing, mm-hmm. but you can also just buy the frame and you build it out. Oh, oh. custom build. Yeah. Like it's like wow. a skateboard. Yeah, you could buy the tires. So because if you it, have, because okay. when they sent me, they sent me the first uh, factor bike, which is the same, the same Austro gravel, but mm-hmm. just a different color. And so when they sent me that, it was just the frame, and I had to switch pretty much everything into the this bike right 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 you know that's all the components because the components is what costs a lot of money like right. you know, disc brakes and all that extra like so how much is the frame if you want to just get the frame? i don't have no idea because mm. when i go to their site they're just selling it complete mm. right you know with as as, as you see is. right yeah, here yeah yeah that's amazing dude congrats so cool, on man. that bro yeah, no, that's, right. that's sick <laughs> straight dude. up Jesus. and then i did my first race actually last weekend which was one of the gnarliest well i didn't I didn't train, I don't think, well enough. <laughs> okay. It was 55 miles. It was half road, half gravel. So okay. this is a gravel bike. You can take it like, you know, up to into the mountains oh, and go sick. off-roading and stuff like Do that. Do you have to change your tires from from street to... Not really. No, these, tires, just, okay. these tires are pretty... But I'll, if you want to go faster, you can get like some some thinner, thinner tires. tires. Yeah. Okay. If okay. you want to just do road, but you can't really take it up to the up mountain. To the, yeah, yeah. So how did you do? Um, It was... Actually, my friend just talked me into this shit, man. I didn't really <laughs> okay. want to do this shit because I know 
I don't even like doing skate contests. Right, right. right. And why am I going to do this like bike racing? He's like, man, you, you're posting shit on social media with your bike and shit. You're not even like fucking. <laughs> he got it to me. You know, he got, he got me. You're going to be trying to and do I was this. And like, I, I was like, bro, I'm a pro skateboarder, not a pro cyclist. You know? <laughs> Straight up. You know? And I know like how gnarly these things are. Like I just watched the fucking, the, you know, some of the Tour de France and all that stuff on um on Netflix. And I know how gnarly this shit is, right? And competitive and all that. Oh, so yeah. there was a 55. It's like, dude, it's 55 miles. Is that not bad? It's not bad. Okay. And there's an eight, there's an 80 mile too, Ooh. like the, the more advanced and the pros. Okay. Like, so would you, consider, do, let's, would let's you do consider yourself beginner or novice? I'm a novice. Okay. All I'm right. a T dog. <laughs> 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 oh kid I'm no T-Dog <laughs> I mean just cause I mean I can build myself up right. you know but I just like it's too when you I love skateboarding so I you know put in so much time into that I love surfing yeah, and I put in yeah, so yeah. much time into that and I cycle it's hard you gotta really put in some miles oh, dude. but just to give you a perspective of how gnarly these dudes are right so there was the 80 mile race Um, it's called the Hoffman uh, like the Grasshopper or something like very they do like you know a couple like during dur during the year uh -huh. the next one is a, a ukiah that i'm gonna go i'm fucking looking forward to it actually. Miles. that one's 40 miles okay. but more climbing there is mm -hmm. another one 70 miles like wow. they, they do like two okay and it's also by age group you know i did the 40 to 49 age group mm. You know, because my friend's like, dude, there's fucking 70 year olds doing this shit. Come on, man. Like, what are you doing? I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I go, didn't know what to expect, you know, get my number and everything to put it in front of my, the bike, you uh -huh, know. Uh -huh. um, and I was like telling him, like, dude, I'm not going to try to keep up with you. You just go. I'm, my goal is to finish. That's my goal. I'm not trying to fucking keep up with you and get burnt out and everything like that. You know, you guys go. It's you know you guys drop me. It's called drop. You know when you just forget like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, leave the homie. You guys could drop me. I'm I'm gonna take my time, but I'm gonna make it to the just like I want to make it to the finish line. Not going on the tour, getting in the van at the at, yeah at the yeah. getting dropped. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I start you know start the thing and it was all good. They uh -huh. uh, they already like left. Okay. You know and he it's funny because he's like dude if you would have kept up with us you can just be in the back and he's like. The guy in the front is doing all the work. The and, wind resistance, yeah, right? Yeah, eating mm. all the wind. You're just cruising, like, you know what I mean? Mm. But I, I was already, you're like, you were already in your mentality that like, you just want to, like, go, you know what I mean? Yeah. Start, and then the, there was a the flat, and then there was a climb going into the mountains. It was just, like, three miles, right? It, it was crazy because it was just going, going, going. I was like, fucking, please make this shit end. Please. <laughs> <laughs> please. It's coming up. And then it's, like, flat. And then during the flat, like at mile 25, I start feeling a cramp coming. Oh. And I was with this brother named TJ that I just met. Um, it's funny because he's like, dude, I, on the climbs, I'm hella slow. But when it comes to like flat, I'm fucking, I get going, you know? Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I, I didn't see him when I, on the, on the climb. I didn't, he was, I didn't see him. And he I was, was back. Like, yeah, he was way back. I didn't see him. So when I started just getting flat and I started feeling like the, that I was getting a cramp, I see him pulling up. And I was like, yo, yo, I'm getting a cramp. I'm getting a cramp, you know? And he's like, Phew, pulls over. He's like, yo, here, take these sap tops, take this, chew on this, boom, boom, boom. Brought me back to life, bro. Really? Wow. He brought me back to life. And then the hydrate station was at mile 33. You know, the hydrate station where you can yeah, fucking chill. Training, okay. Yeah. So he like starts going with me to the hydrate station to make sure he's like, you good? Every time, he goes, yeah, I'm good. He's like, just pedal on low gear. You'll be good. You know, we just have this little climb right here and this and that. Well, during we're going on mile 28 or 29, I see the fucking 80 mile dude. He's like, those are the first place 80 mile dudes. These dudes did 30 oh, extra my. fucking miles. They're lapping you. They're lapping me on the long one. They started 30 mile, they started 30 minutes before me, but they did 30 extra miles in that wow. time, bro. Okay, okay. And he's like, yeah, those are the Mike bike dudes. Those are the dudes that are the first place. And then there's another dude uh, named Ben that I ride in the city with. Like they do these bike rides like every Tuesday. I, uh, there's a, uh, or not, it's like a, a shop. Uh -huh. So I go every Tuesday. It's only 20 miles around the city and you go through the Golden Gate and all that oh, shit. Sick. That's That's sick. But I didn't know this dude was gnarly. He was in the pack behind them. He's like, yo, Chico. I was like, who is that? <laughs> <laughs> and he was just fucking smashing in the fucking. They don't stop at the fucking thing. They just they go. They just go, dude. And whoever has like that little extra fucking 
legs at the end they just sprint it and go take wow. the first but those were they dude that was like these dudes i was like yo tj those are the first place 80 mile dude he's like yeah like what the fuck what Crazy. the fuck 40 miles you're like done dude so i got to the hydrate station i'm like delirious i'm fucking i was like tj i, I don't know man he's like yo just hydrate he's like i'm gonna start going i'll meet you at the finish line you just have this climb, and then the rest is flat, but it's all gravel. It's all road on the climb. And oh, it's like oh, you have the descent, oh, okay. and then into the thing. Bro, when I got to like, I did the climb, and then I dropped down the mountain, and then when I got to this like gravel road, I was breaking down, bro. I was breaking down like I wanted to cry type shit. Like, what am I doing? Like, I'm just f fucking with one leg, dude. Like, <laughs> oh trying to make it to the finish line. <laughs> the cramp would come and I pull over. I'll start shaking it because the homie was like, yo, don't try to stretch it. Just shake it. Like, do the shakes. Let that blood, like, flow wow, back okay, in. Okay. Wow. You know? And people are going by and they're like, hey, uh, you okay? But, you know, people, you're not trying to be like, no, I'm dying here. <laughs> Please. <laughs> so people got their, you know, time. They want to make their fucking yeah, they, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know and i was like i started going i was like dude i that skate mentality bro when you're trying to mm. trick and you're like fucking just trying to battle you know what i mean i was like i can't stop i can't stop and i still had like 10 miles to go mm. and i'm just going i was like the only way i'm fucking stopping if i drop dead right here dude and the dude, the sun is beaming on you you fucking try to hydrate and fucking keeping it going and then i make it and then it's like three miles and then fucking one mile to the finish line and mm. that was the longest fucking mile of my life it felt like 50 miles <laughs> it was like on the road on the dirt and then just like when it, it said one mile what the fuck man Hurry did up. i go the wrong way did i take the 80 mile route like where am i <laughs> 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 but i finished bro and it felt like the wow. biggest accomplishment that's sick yeah and then man. the homie told me the night before hydrate 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 you know like he told me, man, and you know, now I know just to train better. Right. I I didn't train like I should should have because I came down here for Alex's thing. Yeah. I was doing just other shit and I, I didn't have time to train properly. But like oh, wait, I'm when down was to train. This? Last week. Last Saturday. This was last wow. Saturday? Yeah. Oh my god. I thought you were talking about something that happened <laughs> last like a Saturday. Month, No, this ago. was last Saturday. Wow. This was last Saturday. It was fun. I'm yeah. I'm definitely you, the thing is like if you're gonna do something like this, do it to challenge yourself. Don't do it to try to keep up with these dudes. Right. You know, do it to challenge yourself and have fun, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that way you, you're good. If you try to like, you know, I'm going to win this. I'm going to keep up with these fucking naughty dudes. Yeah, right. Good, good luck. night. Good yeah. luck. You'll drop dead. <laughs> Damn. Well, congrats yeah, on man. that, dude. Big you got yeah, the bike man. coming in. Like like, like I said, this will be out by the time this episode this comes will, yeah. out. So go check it out if they're no, still available. Super stoked. Never in, Pick in a million up. years that I imagine I would have like so you know, something like this with my name on it and in a in a a bike at, uh, at this level. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like a legit, nah, legit. Because like, I, like I said, people have done collabs or done stuff like that with other Mm -hmm. by companies but never on this fucking Dude, level, this man. level and bro. to be honest talking to josh caffrey he's like this never happens this never never like you know you'll be lucky if like these bike companies will give you money for a trip dude wow. like this never that's why that's why i asked you like before we got back on that these must be skateboarders that know who you are mm -hmm. and they work yeah. with this company and they just like the way that they're looking at it is like we're gonna take the brand like a different route, not your regular brand, like bike mm -hmm. brand route. Yeah. Like get the Nautilus Tour de France dude to push our bike. <laughs> they're going. They want real stories yeah. from real people and real struggles, man. And I, I just love that. You know, I about, love that about too. The, the company. I just love that skateboarders like are are trying to push it in other sectors in a sense of like, look, they can do anything they want outside of skateboarding and still love skateboarding and still try to push skateboarding you know what i mean yeah. from a, a different company's you know perspective yeah. and to have that power yeah. man that's that's i mean they thing. they have their own factory in taiwan with so they don't answer to nobody they answer to them you know they have their own factory they They're make their that. own bikes oh wow so it's not like someone like i don't know like specialized that gets their bikes done somewhere else and they have to wait Sure. You know, or giant, they have to wait. They have their own fucking factory mm. in Taiwan. Damn. That's amazing. And that's where they can just pump out like whatever they want and not answer to anybody. Yeah. Bro. It's great. And they're cool as hell. And I'm happy that like, you know, Dude. we were able to team up and do this. It's amazing, bro. This Super project. Cool. Yeah. yeah.
Congrats, dude. What was the other yeah, company you worked? You did something with with Central, didn't you? It was in the, there was some bike company back then. I was Cadence. Cadence. Oh yeah, yeah. that's what it was. That's that Josh Caffrey's involved was, with that. That was Caffrey. Right? Yeah, yeah. Was and we BD? did like was involved BD, with BD, oh, oh, brand, and it was like a, a kit, like the bibs and like yeah, yeah, everything. And actually, we did a tour to Nicaragua and we did a ride to Nicaragua. Oh, that's yeah, dope. skating. And I think Rob G was in, that, into cycling. Movie. Yeah, made a little hat and everything. Oh. Yeah. We were doing things. Yeah. You've always been doing things, man. Straight That's up. what I love about it, bro. I'm a big fan. Hell yeah. Big fan, Chico. Right That's Chico Bernays, bro. Oh. You got any good mouth stories to tell us? Bernays. <laughs> mouth? What'd you say? Mouse. Man. Look at the film for the mouse video. Can you put the video so you can kind of remember? back. Everything's a blur, man. Yeah. Well, even you like, you, like I always, that and like I always think about you, like, do you know skate part? You're like, no. no. Oh, do you know skate part? Yeah. <laughs> There's always like some funny stuff, but this part is awesome, man. Did you choose this song? Yeah. Yeah. What I think sweet? I heard it. I think I might have heard it from Gabriel, though, that put it on. Oh, really? And then I wanted to use it. Did Mesa choose a smooth operator for you? Mesa for FTC? Uh, Sade, yeah. yeah. He was the one because I wanted to do like some hardcore hip hop like NWA <laughs> sure, or like sure. Paris or somebody that was like at the yeah, time, Paris. you know? But how, and thank God that he chose how that. How good man. is it? I though? mean, the funny thing come is on. that Mesa used to come to my house in Delhi City and, you know, when he was working for FTC and pick me up and put try call quest and then de la soul and then dinosaur jr and i was like yo take this bullshit off man <laughs> put some dinosaur. nwa right? sucker. <laughs> <laughs> but it went so, no. dude that part went so good that so Mesa good. chose he's always been such a good that's what i was gonna music. say especially and like user. i was thinking outside the box like not using your traditional like whatever it would be you know skate punk or just he, man, he used r&b for me and you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, yeah. I don't think that had and, been done prior either. And also, all my parts had like some Latin kind of like influence that I don't think any, nobody was using that type of shit mm. in any videos before. Sure, right, like right. salsa music yep. or any, you know what I mean? It brought that. Especially, Especially the, the Born, born to Be culture. Wild part. Yeah. 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 Born <laughs> to Be Wild part? <laughs> what are you talking about, <laughs> man? Not the Born to Be What was born the song? It was, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, it, it was, was more than then, bro, it was. Yeah. And then from that one, the world, right? from one yeah. of the world videos, yeah. also, they used, um, <laughs> what was it? Uh, and fuck, I forget. <laughs> what was it? Was it? I can't Which remember. Which one, one of the world videos? Because I remember I went to Nicaragua and I came back and fucking, I think Day One picked the song. It was. Uh, well, it couldn't have been Love Child because that was a Born to Be Wild. Because it, it was only a, it was a beat. It was like a beat that they use from uh, it's it, in the New World Order. It was a Latin type beat. No, oh, it was what? like a hip hop. Oh, it was a hip hop, was a hip -hop okay. group. Uh, I forget. Damn. Anyways, that yeah. What was New this? New World I went Order. To, I went to Nika yeah. and I came back, and this is what the, the song that they chose for me. We can't play it because of the copyright yeah. issues, but uh, like, yeah, that's a uh, New World Order. New World Order. Yeah. Wow. I remember um, that. that. That was a good video, dude. I'm trying to think of the group name. Burn the Flag? The Goats? Burn the Flag. The Goats. The goats. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Fuck, I, can't, I couldn't think of that. That's the Goats, yeah. They, they, yeah. They, were, they, were, they had their little moment. They had moment. a moment. Yeah, yeah, quick moment. For sure. Dude, Chico Brennis. Oh, man. man. Yeah. We've been, bro. Uh, can I say one more thing? Go ahead. Go ahead. Chico used to always protect us, bro. When there's uh -oh. any type of like scenarios going down, <laughs> whether whether it would be some racist shit, whether it be some like, oh, bro, man. Chico would turn into animal thug, <laughs> oh, yeah. and, okay, and, and, okay, and snuff somebody real quick, bro. And I remember, I think we talked about this on our on our Clyde interview I just did, and he he he's like, who was that 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 I think we were in Jacksonville, Jacksonville. We yeah. were at the bar, and then it was like we went to a bar. And we were like, um, this ain't our scene, you know, the people there. And we, so we came out, we were in the van, ready to leave. And they started using the N-word with Clyde yeah. and everybody. And I'm like, sitting in the van, about to leave. And then- He was chilling. Dude, I was, <laughs> I was ready to leave. Uh, yeah, we were in the van, ready to leave. And I just, this dude started like just, you know, and Clyde and them were ready to fucking throw down. And I fucking just hopped out the van and just fucking, <laughs> night, night. <laughs> <laughs> And then the dude got up. I'm sitting on top of him. And he's like, I think I, there was a black guy that hit me. And I'm like sitting on top of him. And they just ran off, bro. They just left like some fucking hicks. Yeah. Two hicks. Like, I just, he, 
I just night night him. <laughs> Sounds like they got what they deserved, man. One thousand percent. That was that was, sure, that was bedtime. Chico, Chico's bedtime. Chico's <laughs> that's where the bedtime came from. Bedtime. bedtime. Always been that dude, bro. Yeah. We thank you for that. But Chico. I now I retired from boxing. Man. <laughs> 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 uh, Thirty and one. Yeah, there was one. There was one. There was one that got me. Oh, shit. <laughs> Chico, bro, Retire. you gotta come back, please. Dude. If you oh. ever want to come back and kick it with us and hang out, dude. I mean, bro, I don't even think. We covered a, a, half the stories. We, uh, we haven't covered yeah. anything, man. We didn't even touch anything. <laughs> <laughs> we covered a lot, dude. We covered yeah. a lot. Yeah. Uh, what time is it? It's, it's about, fun. yeah, it's about 10.30 p.m. No, I'm just kidding. Fuck, bedtime. <laughs> What's your bedtime? Yeah. <laughs> By the way, that is a true story. I use that on the 100. show a lot. We were in Barcelona, me and Malto and, and, and Chico were sharing a room. And Chico, me and Malto were chilling in the room. Eight o'clock at night, my man. Maybe seven o'clock. Maybe the sun was still out. Uh, Comes in the room, flips the light off on us. We're in the dark now. It's bedtime. And he just goes to bed. Me and Malto had to bounce. <laughs> True story. Can't Dude, chill here. I need, my, I need my sleep, man. It's so fun. Though. Have you ever? No. <laughs> you were sick. You got sick on that trip. Really? Remember? You were in bed for like a day and you were calling out to Daniel to help you. Oh, yeah. Help me. Daniel. Daniel, help me. <laughs> Daniel just ran away. <laughs> He's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so funny, man. But no, nah, man. Thank you for having me. Dude. You know, thank you for giving me the opportunity and everything Chico, like that. Bro. You know what I mean? And thank it, you. It's been a long thank time. Thank you for you, bro. Should have yeah. done that. I know a lot of people keep were tagging me to fucking come on the show and how easy was it, man? It was a piece of cake. There you know, go, bro. <laughs> Ready to cake, come back already, man. dude. Um, I know yeah. that you might sell this stuff later, but can we give you some nine club stuff to take home? Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be on eBay, but <laughs> <laughs> can definitely give it to me. <laughs> yeah. Can oh, we do the I, honors? I, I'll send it to Nika to the fam. Oh, there you, you go. Dude. It'll be there put to go. good use. Hey, there when is the last time you've been back? Tanika. Uh we just did something out there um for the kids actually. Um send out thirty pairs of shoes actually and gave back to the community and um, Damn, nice. There we held uh with uh Skate Central America. It's a um organization over there that's been helping put contests and everything together. Mm -hmm. Um uh yeah, so I was just there, I think uh was it November, I think mm. we was back. We went uh, with Jonathan Nicaraguan. Perez, another oh, yeah. Nicaraguan oh, yeah. homie. Dude, sick. Went out there, which was kind of dope, man. Oh, for Max Allure. Yeah, yeah. Max Allure. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. Nick, born in the Bay, but he's uh, he, Nick, he Nicaraguan. That's so sick. It's kind of crazy, man, to see another Nicaraguan uh, skate pro skateboarder. Yeah, made it. You know, you were the only one for a while. I was the only one. I was the only one, but uh, yeah, it's good to see. Love that. Yeah, we we did that and we just brought boards and we brought stuff and it was actually like it was cool because uh we invited like all the Central American countries from Costa Rica, Guatemala, everybody came wow. like their best skaters came mm. had a contest Thank for you. them and Thank you. And it was dope, man. Yeah, super dope. Really cool. Sick. Yeah. Yeah, I've never been over there, man. Would like to be invited one time, but you know Let's what go. it uh, happens uh you know. <laughs> Sometimes soon. Are you talking about Chris going to Nicaragua? Yeah. I would love to see that. Come on, man. You think it would last? <laughs> no. <Nicaragua>? No. Because <laughs> that was my thing. Picking right, the right dudes to come to Nicaragua. It's like that was always like a key. Totally. You know, you don't want to, ah, fucking it's too hot here. Ah, oh, these spots suck. Ah, oh, the fucking mosquitoes. <laughs> like, I don't want to hear that. You're telling man. me oh, that. You're, you're, fucking, you're telling me that Joey Brzezinski would last longer than I would over there? <laughs> he got kicked out, actually. <laughs> He's banned. There's a, on the airport. There's fucking faces on there. Like you're fucking banned. Circle homie. with a cross. Yeah. He, he, now nah, he, he he left, but then he uh, he came, but then he left. Like he he got sick or something. He did finish the demo, he and I was like, you get the okay. fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there was only one dude. That was only the one dude that got banned from Nika. Yeah, that's it. Nika, she should be all right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think you'll do all right, Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think so. I think yeah. so. Nah, you would love it, man. Dude. The beaches, the people, the oh, culture, you know, amazing. we're just humble people, man. I humble, humble. And it's just as beautiful as Costa Rica, man. No, no disrespect to Costa Rica or anything, but it's yeah. just as beautiful because it's right next door, so it's just as beautiful. Well, they're, they're, they got a tourism thing, right? They, they, a lot of people go down there for surfing, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. the surfing's big. Yeah. The surfing's big. I've been going, actually, um, now that I go back, is surf and skate. Yeah. surf and skate out there and actually we're the instead of going to mexico i think this year we're gonna go um to nika on nice. that 
that trip, trip that Rick goes and all the homies oh, that go. Yeah, we're um, I think in April or May. Will that May. be the first time that Rick goes to the Nika? Yeah. Oh hell yeah. Mm. We were actually gonna go uh when COVID started. We were oh. gonna go, had our tickets, and then COVID hit and it canceled everybody's flights. And right. we're like, oh this shit should last a month and then three years oh, later, yeah. two years later go. <laughs> And I just gotten I just gotten back actually. I was just in Nika when COVID was like beginning, I remember. And I remember I had a layover in El Salvador. The dude next to me is just wiping down the fucking everything. And I was like, dude, what the fuck is wrong with this dude, man? He was already I he had, bro. Had, really? Yeah. Had a mask and he was already wiping everything down. And he got me kind of like scared. So I just put on my hoodie like, yo. What is wrong with you? This is bugging over What is wrong with you, man? What, what month was that? It was March. Oh, like, yeah. So that was like, like prime time. Yeah. And then Damn. I think. Does everything shut down? Like two March weeks 15th. after they had the shutdown. And after they was just like full on. Mm. Dude. craziest times in our lives man. yeah, yeah that's know. for damn sure crazy man but we made it out I know I know well Chico listen first of all thank you let me give man. you a bro I, I love you bro and <laughs> I uh, love you too man I love you guys thank always. you so thank much you. I'm early. glad that I fucking finally came bro yeah. and you know what yeah. come back anytime dude don't come say that cause I mean here. I might just start knocking like hey can I get on the show <laughs> Is it cool? You can sleep on the couch cool. in there. You know, sleep on, sleep oh, over? you got a couch? Uh oh. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Hey, we're going to cancel our rooms tonight. <laughs> <laughs> stay in here. Listen. Stay no, hydrated out there, Chico. Oh, stay wow. hydrated out there, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't want to. We don't want to. Yeah, Yeti legit, Night Club, man. man. We don't want you to. Uh, cramp up anymore. I won't sell this. Okay? I'll no. keep this. You can keep, you can that, keep that one? I think okay. my daughter, Maya, Maya will definitely You know what? We got another down. one for, for her. For, for real? Uh, yeah. yeah. I, need, yeah. I need like three or four. You, oh. I have a big family. <laughs> <laughs> There's a nine club mug oh, also for your, for, for your for your uh, Cafe Con Leches. Damn. You know? Boom. And then uh, a nice crew neck for oh, you. Oh, look at that. We got the white orange yeah. block on the back. Oh, uh, no. That, I won't sell this. This is yeah, good. This is good quality. Man, this is nice and thick. Yeah. It's good, bro. Man, thank you. Hell oh, yeah. But Chico, like I said, man, thank you so much. And it's been an honor and a privilege being your teammate for so many years. And uh, right. all those years of inspiring me, dude. Like, for real. Man, I've, I've been you. a fan of yours since w Love Child. That was my, kind of my introduction to you guys, you know? It was like right Love on. Child. And I was like, damn, I want to be... I want to be friends with this oh, guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got to know you're like, fuck this guy. <laughs> no, 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 no. no I remember thanks, when you were getting on, dude. Yeah. Did you it say was, yes or no? I said no. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep it 100, Damn. man. That's well, messed I, I up, guarantee bro. you. I, I messed up. No, I it's not like I didn't say no, but it was like Ricardo Carvajal. Sure. You know. No, but that was after Brazil. me, though. No, I was like, I think they're in the same time. I had to go into Rick and be like, hey, dude, are you? what are you guys doing? Because they, nobody was getting on chocolate. There mm. hadn't been anybody put on chocolate but for I was like, years. He was like... Chris or Ricardo? Or not. You picked I, Ricardo? I picked Ricardo. I'm sorry. Damn. You guys both got on. Yeah, we did. You guys both yeah. did get on. I think some, somebody must have overrid you. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Yeah. I bet Chico was like, who? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who's Chris Roberts? <laughs> no, I, it was dope. It, was Damn, sick. it worked out. It all worked itself out. Yeah. I'll never forget that, Cheeks. Don't. I <laughs> know <laughs> for, for sure but uh, dude thank you Chico man come man. back anytime dude it's right been on. so much fun thank oh, you yeah, yeah, yeah Chico, yeah, Chico. No, right on guys <laughs>